Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And we do have a new one today. And we have a new Erlen. He's right. refreshed I'm, every day. I'm back. He is reborn beep, again. Beep. He is <laughs> back. Uh, we're going to be playing two 7800 games today. One of which is Super Pro Racers, which is a multiplayer split screen racing game. Not to be confused game. with Pro Racers. No, this is Super Pro, Pro Racers. racers. Got, that's right. <laughs> Everything when it went to the Super Nintendo is just Super Blah, Super Blah. Yeah, super like blah. we're not playing any Pro Racers. We're like, this yeah. is not, we're not even. We're not even going to touch those Pro Racers. No, no, Super Pro <laughs> Racers. Well, it is on the seven eight hundred Pro system. Oh it shit! It was named so. From now on, all 7800 games have to be called Pro Something. That's right. And the next game, or second play game we're going to be playing is Pro Bernie and the Tower of Doom. No, it's just, it's Bernie and the Tower <laughs> the of Doom. The Super Pro Bernie. Super Pro <laughs> Bernie and the Tower of Doom. It is an exclusive update to the game. A whole new world will be, a whole new tower will be revealed Ooh. today. Ooh. Plus yeah, some I other stuff. I don't know about any towers, so it'll yeah. all be revealed to me. That's right, it'll be all new. <laughs> New for Erlen. Thank you, Zombie Alice, for resubscribing. Uh, and speaking of subscribers, before we get into it, Pro Bernie. That's uh, right, Pro Bernie. Uh, 8 bit Poet Alnafer, Andrea Atari, Atari 800, XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Bartarius, Maximus, BR Polka, Bruno Stacks, Captain Classic, Charles Stone, Mel, Charles Willen, Chitla, Cyrano Rebo, Dianoi, Dan, FC, Dr. Mookaz, Dr. Web Store, Gamma Death, Glenn Main, Grand Defender, Ground Trooper, Aroldo, Jua, JK, uh, KSPSX. That's a hard one to say fast. <laughs> John DWC, Carl G, Karakak, Karako 2600, Gevelt for Lambda Express, Mad Max, Mandy Sipping Team, Mark Yannis, Mark Space, Inc, Mick Muse, Mike Saul, Mike Cattell, Miss Command, MK Swift, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strom, Neo Mini, Nostalgic, Pseudographics, Co op, Rhino Goes, Friendless, VG, Rev, Until He's Mitty, B Spice, Where? One second. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Spinley, Yes, Ramirez, D Train, Tiki Down, K T, Foes, Track MD, Tweeny, Vex Rex, VBG, Double Down, X Connect, Zombie, Alice. And if you wanted to be added to that esteemed list of supporters of oh, ZPH... Super pro list. Super pro <laughs> ZPH supporters. You can. They're scrolling down the side there. Right. And you can do it just like Zombie Alice did. And Muddy Funster, the man of the hour. That's right. Muddy. This game we're going to be playing second. Oh, shit. Oh, I love the Muddy Funster. S. Ramirez did as well. So thank you for the resubs. It's always Thanks, appreciated. Everyone. Do it again. Um, we're going to get to the treat time in one second. Before the show, uh, <laughs> not on YouTube, but we play music before the show on uh, Twitch. Uh, we played uh, a song called... Uh, twin by All You Can Execute. It does Ooh. not sound like it's from a 2600. It sounds mind-blowing, okay? Um, but, uh, yeah, really, really good. Um, so I've upped the frame rate to 60 frames a second of us. That's right. So if it looks good, let us know. If it looks bad, let us know. If you don't care, let us know. Yeah, there's I know. any problems. That's what I think the big thing is, is if there's any performance issues yes. with the with the playback, that's the most key. Because when you up frame rates, the potential for... <sighs> Lots of things. Yeah, but, uh, there but could it's be... just doubled. Yeah. So there shouldn't it shouldn't be too bad. And we broadcast at 60. Well, and, and I believe you can toggle um, on Twitch the FPS, I think. Can you? You yes. certainly can on YouTube. Asterisk. Yeah. Um, we have not achieved that level where they give it to us blanket. Oh. Sometimes we have it, sometimes we don't. We have a very niche show, so we don't have enough viewers constantly to automatically get that. I have yeah, to be partnered do. with Twitch or something like that. Some Less flicker now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, trust. Wouldn't there be more flicker now that we can do yeah. 60 and we can do 30 times 2? Yeah, we're like... See, what? Erlen and I only appear one at a time but because we're flickering at 30 hertz you can see both of us at the same it's time magic is what it is yeah it's, it's an illusion <laughs> it's an old school magic uh, uh you can almost reach through my screen uh well nobody says it's bad so need more cowbell. we're all good I mean, nobody says it's good either we always so. need more cowbell da -ding, ding, da -ding, ding. <laughs> we uh, always need more and before we get to uh giving uh atari some yum yums um Later on in the second game, there's a piece of paper here. That's right. Erlen's going to interview me a little bit, uh, question me about some things uh, about 
ethics be in a, game that's reviewing. Be a trenchant interview is what it will be. A trenchant. It'll, it'll, it'll that's be, a new word it'll for be me. very. It'll be very. Uh, yeah, there'll be some serious, uh, serious questions, some serious yeah, interviewing, some grilling. Because um, right. I'm, I'm very interested in this topic. Um, and I picked up on this topic on a podcast I was listening to um, from people who do YouTube videos, and they deal with food in their show a lot. And they were questioning themselves about, you know, the food they bring on their show and what they say about the food. And and I thought, oh, that applies to this show. Oh, yeah. we, we talk about games. So I thought it'd be very interesting about the ethics surrounding this. And I've, I've typed up a couple questions, but we're going to delve as deep as you guys want to. You can put questions yeah, on questions. the screen, too. And also, I think it's interesting, like, even from an Internet context, like, yeah. every show does it should think on some level about the ethics of the stuff they're putting out and i think yeah. very few shows ever <laughs> cross their mind right because yeah. you're just out there doing your thing but it's very interesting to take a step back and ask oneself like what's your what's your role and what's your purpose and all yeah. of these it's very interesting kind of to de delve into the topic cause... and i think they picked it up from uh marquez brownlee who was accused or or uh attributed to let's say sinking a multi-million dollar company by giving a bad review to one of their products and nobody's disputing that the product is not great for the price i mean if it was a dollar it'd be a great product but it's a very very expensive product and he just trounced it yeah. and said it was a bad product and they pretty much disappeared overnight because there's better alternatives to what they're doing Harlan interviews new edition there we go it's gonna be a new segment <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna That's be the right. segment everyone's Harlan like, grills Harlan's me. trenchant interviews <laughs> That's right. we'll have to make a title screen a theme song do, 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 a news <laughs> kind of <laughs> intro breaking news breaking another news. trenchant interview <laughs> some, some marquee along the bottom that's scrolling along breaking news in red right yeah <laughs> uh, but Atari's waited enough oh yeah oh, he's he still has. eager and what did you trigger? What it's was tree it? Tree time. So oh, tree time. Is that the bell? That is the bell, and we have we have enhanced it. We've refined it to a Ooh. point. Every time I get where to I see, think the, it works. It's an iterative process. It is, is what it is. You it's... have to refine it, and he's eager for it. Um, what was that? Were you trying to meow? That he's that was went... he, mouth <laughs> open. Okay, so this uh, is how cats just domesticated themselves. They're oh, locked yeah. up and open their mouths, and it's like, like I will. Food goes in here. I will give you <laughs> protection. I will give you everything. <laughs> That's right. I'll give you love. I'll give you protection from rats, and I'll I'll keep your grain uh, safe. So let's start up the bedding. We've adjusted the predictions Ooh. so you can see on here we have one through five that's right six to seven this is in two minutes that's right six to seven eight to nine ten to eleven and twelve, 12 plus, plus. Oh, and it's been yes. quite good because it's been all over the board which is what you want you don't want it sliding into too little all the time and everybody just bets that you want it to be a little you know randomized so if you've never played this click on predict on your screen uh if you don't have predict on a refresh it's in the chat area it's starting it's going. and uh, it is starting so and you pick how many times you think atari will ring the bell for a treat within two minutes and the time starts at the first, first ring um so let me get the timer on the screen because we actually have the timer going now while we're Ooh, waiting i here. love the refinement oh yeah you gotta you gotta go all in when you do this there we go and it should be over here and let me just make sure it's working treat timer I don't think I've seen a more captivated cat. <laughs> he's Atari is ready, go. ready oh, to go. He's very patient. He's, he's, very he's patient. just he's dialed in. He's locked in. Yeah, he is. He's concentrated. He's meditating right he's now. Just gotta lock he's in. Doing some cat meditation. Uh, okay, we've got the time up on the board. We've got it zeroed out. Out. It is Puss and Bet's time. We've relabeled Ooh. it for Atari. Gonna get the bell down and uh, I'll get 
Aaron ready on the treats. And we'll put the treat right in front of the bell, in front of him. Okay. Yeah, we're yeah, getting buddy. ready. Do you got about worry. five seconds left. Let's see how, oh, I missed the, the spread there. Oh, damn, we'll have to find out later, I guess. Let me look, see if I can see it. Let's see. Uh, no, I can't. Oh, no, it's on the screen. I just can't see it. Looks like every, oh, nobody put it one through five. I think that's a, I think that's a smart Ooh. tactic. Yeah. We'll see, yeah, we'll, see we'll see, but I, I have a feeling that's a smart tactic. That is tactic. very low for two minutes. But that's kind of almost a little, it's not quite bell curvy because we have 35, 30, it's 35, yeah. it, but it's sort of like a little, uh, you know, it's, it's a little, true. it's a little hill curve. <laughs> it's a little. And 1% on the high end. We'll yeah. see. He hasn't made it there yet. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, he's ready. <sighs> Ooh. Okay. Are you ready for it to pop off? It's about to pop off. It's about to pop off. Nope. Didn't hear that. <laughs> Gotta right. ring it. We're waiting not... for it to pop off. Okay, get over here. We're waiting for it to is, pop this off. This is your side. There. Oh, there we go. It there just popped off. So he did two of them. So, But he only gets one point. Only gets one. So now it's one point. We're in the first bracket. Ooh. Sucker bet for when Atari's unaltered. That's true. Last couple times he was uh, uh, altered. He was in an altered state of mind. That's two. Two. Okay. And he was getting low scores when he's already had a, a ball and catnip. See, that tracks, so, right? Like when you're just stoned oh, yeah. and <laughs> completely full. And he's doing pretty good. He's consistent. He's not super fast. So what are we at? We're at three? Okay, three okay, right okay. now. Three, three, three. Erlen will watch Atari's first place live. <laughs> That's oh, true. Oh, yes. That's right. He's the winner. He's nothing but winning right now. So this is very, this is the Canadian very Olympics. very far from the bell. <laughs> Why are you doing such a big stretch? Get in there. Come Get on. In there. Such a stretch. Well, he's got he's to lock in, Atari. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Atari, you got to lock in. We're still in the first bracket. We have, come on. Moved up. Okay, the okay, first so bracket. there we there go. There is a winner now. There, there will we go. be a winner. There we go. So we're at six points. Tari, you just And gotta... just under a minute. Tari, you just got to lock in. Come on. No. No, you got to hit the top. There we go. Oh, no. oh double, double tap. Does that count? No. Only get. Only no. One. So we're in the, still in the second bracket. He's got 35 seconds left. He's probably going to get another one at least. Now we're in the third bracket, eight to nine. You know what? what really Atari, get out of it? It's possible. Atari really winning is getting 12. And oh, only, God, yeah. And Come only 1% on. gets it. Oh, oh, Atari. We're in the upper third bracket. He's Ooh. got 17 seconds. Okay, so this is this is this the is game. It. This is the game point, Atari. Come on. Atari just got to lock in. Oh, he's going for it. He's got to lock in, out. Atari. And yes, lock it. in. He's okay, made okay. It to the fourth bracket. The final bracket. He's not going to make it out of there. He's got three seconds left. He might get one more treat. That's oh, it. That's it's it. all Atari. over. Ten points. Okay, so Ten I'm gonna point. I'm gonna chuck in. Good kitty. These guys. Just a couple. Just a couple. Oh, I give him. There give, you go. give him one more than a couple, but <laughs> he deserves it. Good job. So let's let's see who won. Who's the big winner? Who bet the most on? The 10 to Hold 11 on, I gotta quickly points. Wash. Sure, yeah, good idea. Just a little. Stink. Nobody wants uh, stinky joysticks. Okay, who is the winner in 10 to 11? There's 5,000 put down on that. Whoa, 5K? One person. Yo, who won? Ivory Tower Ivory. Collection takes the Dude, full Ivory pot. Ivory knew. He triples knew. his money with 14,490. He knew. That is, a, that is the point. Uh, yeah, Atari up in his game. <laughs> yeah, we're having a another yerba mate today. Uh, okay, nice little, yep. Nice little yeah, refreshing. Hydrate. <laughs> Hydrate today. It's getting up to uh, high 20s. 28 maybe. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Get out your calculators. Yeah, congratulations, ITC. This is the this is the raspberry flavor. It's a, I like it. Oh, very <laughs> nice. Not a sponsor. Okay. So, uh, like last show, we briefly mentioned there were some Atari not, summer sales. Not a sponsor yet. Not a sponsor <laughs> yet. That's right. You have the chance to be a sponsor. Someday, you're Bavante. Hear my calls. <laughs> Zero page homebrew. That's right. No, I don't want sponsors. No, I know you don't. Um, <laughs> So Champ Games is giving $5 off the Kicks boxed cartridge. Uh, I don't know till when. Let's see. 
uh, because Mike awesome. made us with an awesome intro in his review. We've reduced the cost of the Kicks box cartridge because he did a review of Kicks by $5 in his honor. We are running long stock until the next print job scheduled for August, so get it well taught. So I guess $5 off till they run out. Nice. There you go. So get your Kicks right now on Route 66. It is a good game. Very, very good conversion from the arcade. Uh, there's also a sale, 25% off of all ROMs for Muddy Vision games, whose game we're going to be playing later. So there they are, Danger Zone, Keystone Coppers, Arty, EXO, Tire Tracks, and Daredevil of the digital versions. Uh, so sale prices run from, oh, today is the last day. Is it a nasty buzz on the audio is back? Hmm. Yeah, I can see it in the levels, actually. Yeah, it should be lower than that. Nope. Let's try the other thing, because I thought it was the USB cable, and I changed it out. Well, that didn't do it. So there's two other connections. Still there. One more connection. <laughs> yeah. Is that worse? <laughs> oh my goodness. Check, check, check. Interesting. Well, let's try. It's getting worse. No. It's, it's multiplied. He said, I think the top mic is. Oh, my God. Here's this microphone. Did it get worse when I did this one? No! Why are you being trouble? Looks like it's a bit lower. But like not much. Not like this. <laughs> um. Well, it's not that. Oh, actually, it is the connect cable because when I unplug the cable, it goes away. Oh, that's way worse. <laughs> no, it's my cabling. You know what? Oh, that is horrid. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get another XLR cable. Watch out, Cap. Recalculating. Recalculating. Yeah, I can see the level of the buzz is just... Out of control. Yeah. Small microwave repeater station. Yeah. Nothing worse than a mic buzz, but it is what it is. It is. Oh, I've got one. Luckily I have many oh. XLR cables. Oh yeah. Because I roll like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Smart. This one's really long. Not that it matters. XLRs don't really have... They have a long length before yeah. they go bad. So. Well, it's good because it, you might be able to like simplify the... Actually, that's true. Because if you can just get one cable... Yeah, we're going to just go...
Nope. I have one more thing to try. It's not the port either. It looks meaningfully oh. better though. Let's just try it up here. Out of my hand. Oh, there we go. I think that's probably I think way we got better. It. I think we got it. Now let me just make sure. Check, 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 check. Which one is it? Yeah, check, just check, 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 check. It's this one. Check, check. And I'll put it pretty much how it was before. How's that? I think that's. I just looking at the levels. I think that's better. I think we're good. There was a hum when the mic was unplugged. Interesting. You're good. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. Just like it might be the port on my uh, on my adapter there. Oh, that sucks because those aren't super cheap. No. Well, something to look into now. Now that we've diagnosed it. Thank you for, thanks for putting up with this live. Yeah. Thanks for letting us that. know. It's it's always it's it's part of the process. Yes. Yeah. So back to this. Muddy Funster Muddy Vision has a sale on till today. So if you want to get these ROMs, uh, Tire Tracks Daredevil for twenty six hundred, Danger Zone Keystone Coppers already AXO for seventy eight hundred. Uh, you can uh, grab them today and there are discounts on multiple ROM purchases so you That's can awesome. save even more uh, and there's one more sale that is Atari related it is the Atari 400 minis are 15 percent off in the uh, US store only so Canadians get screwed as per usual so it's down to 102 uh, American so there you go if you haven't had if you don't have one and you want one now is the time i guess uh so what next like i said we're going to be talking about ethics yeah but we'll get uh, some gameplay going while we do that hey yes oh definitely we'll be doing the second game let's just get that hangy thing out of the way yeah, so i can that. see it we can see the screen i think that should be good yep we're good now back in business still good Get the floor level a little bit lower. Check. Check, check. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, you just got a bunch of notifications all at once. Oh, I hate that. That's how it Get goes. Get out of here. Go away. We don't need to be notified. <laughs> we're we're doing a show. That. That's right. We're busy. So the first game up, Super Pro Racers. Uh, this build is from July 3rd, a couple days ago. Uh, it was first posted May 13th. Uh, just to have an out of 7800 day to play. Oh, it. this is great. But we've got the most up to date version. It's a 48K game. It is made by, it's the first 7800 game by Ben Larson, ben. who made the amazing platformer Panky the Panda for the 2600. It is one of the best platform games, best looking platform games for the 2600 as well. Uh, they also made Incoming and Square Raid, and Square Raid looks so, so cool. Uh, it's really, really awesome. So, looking forward to playing this. Posted on May 13th. I've been holding out on you guys. Been secretly working on a racing secretly. game. Secretly. My first 7800 game, actually. So he started secret. with Racer. He went to Pro. <laughs> pro. Super Pro. Oh, he's here. Welcome, Ben. Super unlocked. Uh, uh, Don't worry, we're ethical reviewers. That's right. <laughs> completely above board. Uh, it's an overhead racing game done in 320B mode with minimalist graphics look, like he, he did for Square Raid. I love his minimal uh, look on that one. More or less necessi necess necessitated by the choice of 320B mode. You can do full screen one player mode versus a computer or split screen head to head two player mode. So I'm going to let Erlen jump on the one player Sounds first good. so we can see that and I'll read out the rest of what he is talking about here. So let's switch over. That's a great idea. Yeah. So might as well show it off. Your name here. Your name. It knows my name. That's right. You gotta <laughs> update your uh, header, I guess, in the 7800. Cool. Just hit. Uh, uh, I think we are good to go. Yep. Jump right in. And then load or start game. Uh, turn off the brake. Go up. Go to. Press it. Disable. There we go. Down. And then press the other button on start game. Other button. 
Oh, this one here? Yeah. Cool. That's the primary button. Oh, yeah. and it's more of a secondary button. Yeah. One player? Let's do some one player. One player, and you've got some other Ooh, options. Dude. I already like this font, this Super Pro Racers, like the little oh, yeah. faded blend That's from beautiful. like really, really nice. Blue to black, yeah. So go down, and you've got hard, medium, impossible. That's what, that's what we're going to do now. <laughs> Hard, medium, possible, easy. Time, Time trial. trial. I'm going to go with medium. Okay. The that's kind of medium start. rare, yes. you know what I mean? Like, just keep it, keep yeah, it keep simple. It let's keep it just, mid. Let's, we, we, we're, we're looking for mid over here. And how many laps? What options do we have for laps? Four, four three, three, two, two one, one eight. eight. I'm going to go with four. Yeah. Just to keep life mid mid. <laughs> just that's right in the some, mid just keeps a midlife going okay let's 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 have a midlife crisis <laughs> that's, that's right to go jump into it grand pricks oh you get a choice of six <laughs> tracks grand pricks let's, don't be a grand prick don't be a grand pricks i'm gonna go with just this loop basics <laughs> yeah we'll start, start basic we're gonna start basic and we will it's gonna pop off when we get to this like circle business but we can't pop off quite yet the name is tongue-in-cheek in case you couldn't tell oh no <laughs> no no i made mistakes were made already what do you think i think i'm gonna win this one i don't know i don't know if you can tell much. but i'm definitely i'm in the and there would you can't even see my competition that's far, how far gone. ahead I am. Right. They're just gone. Oh, oh, no! Nice little sign said lap I'm, one. That's cool. No, okay, lap okay. two. Oh, it's an overhead oh, banner. Oh, look at this. Under. Lap two. Look nice. at this. Okay, okay. I'm, now you got I'm, I'm getting there. some angles going. I don't know if you're going to catch up. But I'll tell you one thing on that you should know about me. I'm a horrible you're driving a super, You're a super pro racer? <laughs> I'm a super pro racer. I'm the, I'm the most pro racer you can find. <laughs> Like you're, there's you're pro. very positive about racing. That's right. Not good at it, but you're very positive. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm really. A, it. I'm a. I'm a <laughs> I endorse. You're racing. Not anti racing. No, I'm not. I'm not anti racing. Erlen drives like my wife, Muddy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh no! That means you must have a, a deep affection for me. Yeah, very smooth. <laughs> That's right. Okay, uh, ITC says seeing this makes me think of a port of micro machines as possible in the 7800. Well, micro machines has a lot going on in the background. That would be very cool. Oh, look at this. Okay, we're starting to pop off. Look at this. Yep. Okay, so okay. a solid bronze. I would give it another go. I think because I, I think you have the hang of it. You might. Okay. How okay, so I was I was only six seconds. Okay. Oh, you can you can do it. Okay, let's let's get this different. Let's you can this. do the same track because you know it. Let's 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 do it the harder one. Let's do oh, it. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, I turned the wrong way. No, not he's like used this. To, he's used to going the opposite I way. I was used to the Grand Prix. You can still see little, the other cars. Little did I know. Okay, this is an improvement. Last time we uh, couldn't see them in Narrowing. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, no. Hopefully no. You have a better top speed. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta learn this. We're ramping, don't worry. James, see them anymore. Don't worry, things are about to pop off. Yeah. <laughs> I don't Your know. Life is about to change. I don't anytime. know. I don't know. If you've noticed, it's almost popped off. <laughs> yeah, almost. <laughs> We're getting close. It's priming to pop off. We've got we've got a pro right here, man. It's what we have. Super pro. The super pro racer. Oh okay. no, no! So the read corners. some more. You can do full screen one player mode versus computer or split screen head to head two player mode. There's three cars in total in each race, so in one player there'll be two CPU opponents, and two player there'll be one CPU. One interesting thing to note is that you can collide with other cars. Whoa! Oh, you have to encounter other cars. Uh, maybe they'll lap you. <laughs> no, no, no! We we gotta believe. That I mean, just gotta lock in, James. Yes, lock. The in. problem is, is I'm not locked in. No, enough. your seatbelt is off and I'm hanging out the door. I was. I had a plan to not Dragging lock in, and I was like, so that when I lock in. You'll know. You'll be oh, like. I see. You'll be Things like. Will you're, you're just. I'm just. We're just waiting to lock in. I see. You don't want to. You don't want to show off all your skills. Oh, dude. It, 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 it's like you know how pool players need to like lower. Oh, you're sharking it. That's what. You, that's what you do. You you pretend like you're terrible. Oh, so when we do two players, I'm just left in the dust. It, gets, it pops see. off. That's what I see. <laughs> um. That means you can do things like run them into a wall to gain an advantage, which I recommend doing because it's fun, if nothing else. What did I do? Oh. I mean, that's... <laughs> it's about the same. <laughs> that's... There's four okay, levels okay. of difficulty. I recommend starting out on easy mode. Oh, no! Doing... Okay, okay. Hey. Stinky. No. No, no. 
Oh, I don't. Oh my god, dude! I don't know the. I don't know the track though. I don't know the track. Can we go? No. To, no. Cheating. <laughs> I don't know the. No. See, I made a mistake. Oh. No 90 degree turns. Oh wait, do I just keep going? I should have followed the signs. Yeah. When in doubt, follow the signs. Oh, that was a good turn. That's good. Oh, there they are. I can still see them. <gasps> Straight? Yeah, it's always okay, straight. Okay, straight, straight. No straight, straight, 90 straight. degree turns. Holy shit. There's a oh, oh. Okay, okay. So you know what? It was a trial run. It was a trial run. We're gonna get we're gonna get it back. We're gonna get it back. There's still see I learned. I learned from my mistakes. The controls are left to right to steer and button to accelerate. There's no brakes because the car slows down quickly enough oh, as dude, is, yeah. and nobody uses brakes anyway. Who needs brakes? I saw them for a brief moment. I saw them oh, yeah. okay. ahead of the, I don't know, that but There's a couple other features and things I have mentioned, but for uh, enough text for now, here's some screenshots in a ROM. Have at it. Feel free to let me know what you think, and uh, we'll see what updates he has done. Everyone's going full GTA. Dude, we're ramping. Follow we the signs, guys, the developers. I don't need signs. What are you talking about? Signs. Oh, on. We don't need signs. We don't need signs. Um, uh, he did consider 320C briefly, but wasn't able to get the car sprites how he liked them due to color placement era limitations. So I used 320B with kangaroo mode on in order to get more colors. That, of course, brings its own issues with black boxes around things, but I was able to work around. The thing I realized when doing this project that 7800 isn't the easiest system to code for, especially when using 320 modes. Oh, dude, look at this. Even though I'm not winning, still I'm starting to better. I'm starting to feel the angles of the of the good, thing. Good, good. Oh, there you go. See yeah. what I mean? Like, is, I guess you want to drift every corner. Right? Yeah. You, once you, the thing is, is you kind of like need to know the level. Like, look at. Do you see that? Oh, oh. good turns. What are we like? <laughs> what are we looking at for time? Come Ooh, on, tell is us. It's still seven seconds. <laughs> no. Not, not much different. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 We're like, gonna. Go head to head now. Oh. Okay, two players, please. Two players. Now, medium. are we gonna stick on medium? Yeah, let's stay on medium. Okay, let's. Uh, four is enough. Four is fun. Four, four is nice because then it's like if we're doing horribly, it's it's over quickly. But <laughs> but if we're like doing <laughs> well, it's like it's long enough. Okay, so let's do this. Okay. Well, let's do a, a, a one that you have not done, yes, so I yes. have a fighting chance. Let's that do one doesn't look too complicated. Let's try this one. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna memorize it real quick. Okay, done. <laughs> <laughs> done. You don't know which direction. Oh man. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Which one am I? Which one am I? Am I top or oh. bottom? I think I'm top. I'm pretty You're sure top. I'm top. Oh, okay. okay, no, we're good. I'm red. Carolyn's blue. No. It's Oh, wrong way. Oh, there's less screen to see. Some grand pricks. The thing is, is that because there's less screen, it's hard to like Oh yeah. It's harder to computer see. Computer has an advantage there. Whoa, no! Did he just pass me? At my own game. That's right. Not fair. Oh, you're doing some good turns. Oh, you passed. No, I just got ahead of you. See, this is why four laps is good. Oh, no, you made a good turn there. It's because I memorized the track. That's the problem. I didn't <laughs> memorize the track. You just, just got to memorize the track, and then you just got to lock in. It's really simple. If you lock in, oh, no, no, I gotta lock in. I have to lock in. That's the. I made a mistake. The mistake was not locking in. That's right. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, the grand so pricks. Close. The grand pricks. Oh, it's so close. Oh, that was that. That corner was a potential game-changing corner. Oh no, my memorization failed me. <laughs> Grand Prix, the Grand Prix, come on. <laughs> this is the Grand Prix. Holy oh. shit, one last lap, this is the lap, no! Oh, yes! He passes! Oh, oh no! no! Holy shit, okay. You can beat the wall. No, I will not, <laughs> I will not. No, okay, okay, These, this, is, this is it, this is the game winning point. 
Will I be able to recover? Oh, I hit a bunch of walls. Will I be able to recover in time? Oh! No! Oh, it was close. Just it was so barely. close. Barely. I just needed to lock Set in. Nav. The problem was the same. It's <laughs> more Yerba, Yerba Monte. I just, I just did. didn't lock in. Whew. Look at the time difference. A little, ten, little 10 second difference. Point one six. Oh wait, hold up. Not even, uh, not 10 not seconds. Second. 16th one hundredths of a second difference. I like the collision. We got to see some collision of cars this time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay let's, let's, uh, let's, let's go try a... Uh, so okay. we can actually fight against so the computer. We can beat this computer. Okay. Four, four feels let's good. Let's do actually. this one, let's do this one. Okay. okay, hold on, I gotta memorize. Okay, done. Let's do it. Yeah, split screen's even harder if you don't know the track, Ben <laughs> says. Yeah, split screen is very cool. Very few 7800 games have split screen. And uh, I think it's awesome. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah. I mean, horizontal works with this one because I think there's a lot more horizontal. If there was more vertical track... I uh, think this one might be harder split screen. <sighs> <laughs> I think this one's the hard one split screen. Yeah, there's a lot more vertical on that one. But I, let's do this one because okay. we've, we've, we've done... Okay. Now that we know which one. Wait, hold up. What's happening? What? It's oh, it we're, drives different. We're in easy. So the computer is the same. It's just it's slower. It's a bit slower, so our moves are. Oh wow! Because I had this feel for it, and, <laughs> and now it's. Our my... cars just don't have a good, good as good of seller acceleration. Oh, interesting. It's like slow motion. Still, it's hard. I think this is the loop. Yeah, the loop. But in a way, even though it's slower, it's harder to kind of like get back on. Because it's like now that I'm behind, it's feeling harder to catch up, you know? Yeah. Not impossible. Dude, we gotta play impossible. It's like we gotta <laughs> yes. see, we have it must to. must be see. so fast. I bet you it's fast and accurate. Somehow. Oh, I just left. Oh, I just got ahead of me. Is the track so well? He is the track. That's the problem with this guy. Oh, no, I got a good turn there. Yeah, you did. It's all about the turn. No. Yeah, I'm, and it's like once Oh, I'm slightly faster. Slightly faster than the uh, computer. I'm, it almost feels like certain times it seems to speed up. You know what I mean? Like, it's almost like certain moves, uh, yeah. certain angles, or like moments in the track feel quicker. I feel like when I turn, things get slower, but I don't know. Yeah, the... Wall. Oh, I'm too far behind. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. Oh, damn it. Oh, it's so close. One more lap. More, one more lap, I think. God, these, these kind of games are all about angles, too. Like, when you start to really min-max this stuff, you need to, like, know, like, what is the optimum angle to hit these oh, things Oh, yeah, at, you right? see speedrunners on these types of games? Wow. I know that I've watched a bunch of breakdowns of speedrunners that they'll actually, like, Damn it. one of their cheating tactics is to play the game half speed. So oh, they can yeah. make they can make these, like, precision things, and it'll speed up the game later yes. to, like, appear that it's running real time. No! I was ahead. I was neck and neck the whole time except for the last lap. Oh, it's, it's just slowing It is slowing down. down. I haven't okay. tested two-player mode as much. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, he just beat me. This is close, though. This is okay, close. Let's, let's do the impossible. Oh. See what the opposite end is. I'm so excited. Okay, let's do the, this track. Are you ready? Yeah. Have you memorized it yet? Yeah, it's committed okay i got it memorized s backwards s r that's very easy super super racer so simple oh super pro racer it spells yes. it out yes oh my god that's hilarious i thought it was backwards s but it's to do with me. And still Wait. connect things up this feels the same <laughs> it does it's supposed to be impossible it feels the same i think it's because we we're both just locked in so you, you can make the impossible possible <laughs> when you lock in anything it's impossible no, he said the two player is not optimized. That's what I so we'll have to do a one player impossible after this. Oh, Carolyn and I are battling it out. The battle! What's well, interesting because, like, with this slower, kind of like slightly laggier deal, it feels like once you get ahead and once you get that momentum going, it's actually hard to catch up. Oh. 
all about you, the turn. And you make a if you make a mistake, it's like it is critical. Yeah. It is critical. No, no. Turns everything. It's all about the angles, man, and memorizing these tracks. It's gonna be a grand prix. Oh man, I made a big mistake though. I just didn't lock in. <laughs> <laughs> Not locking in. You gotta press that lock in. Button it's the you're... thing is, it's like you you keep. I keep thinking I'm gonna lock in, and, and sometimes you lock in, and sometimes it comes loose. It just it flails just about. Flails about. It's not locked at all. <laughs> and then it's like no. <laughs> oh, I... you're catching up. I can see on my screen. It's because I'm locking in. Stop locking. <laughs> is this it? This is the game winning. I think so. I can't see the laps. Oh. Whoa, 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 you're catching up. Yep, slot four. Oh, dang. No, 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 it might be too late. Oh, oh it is too late. So. I just hit the wall. I oh, thought it was down and it, and it was actually up. I do that too. Classic. I'm gonna be clever. Classic mistake. Oh, there's a missing piece there. Classic mistake. Oh no. Oh no. Is this it? It's a straight line. <laughs> oh no. There was a missing piece I saw. There's a missing piece? Oh. In the edge of the track. I think something like this, a bit more primitive, could be done in the 2600 too, even with a split screen. Oh yeah. 100% this could be done in split screen in the 2600. Uh, bare metal? Mm, I've seen some good bare metal racing games yeah. on the 2600. Split screen would be a lot more intensive. Um, but obviously accelerated, you could do anything like with an ARM processor. Um, Let's try the okay, one, one player impossible. impossible four laps. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do maybe... Yeah, maybe straight ahead one. This one. It's because it's just right turns. It's pretty fast. Yes, yes, yes. Oh no. Oh, you just clipped the corner. I just didn't lock in. Yep. You missed it. You didn't lock in and you clipped the corner. <laughs> I could have I could have locked in if I didn't. You're a bit faster, but they never make mistakes. So as soon as you hit the corner, Game's it's, over. it's over. And they don't do like optimal turns, I don't think, like cornering. They they're a little lax on, but not much. They're like, I feel like I'm doing better than I did before. Oh, it's very loud. Sorry, everyone. Check, check, check. That's better. Luckily, it was just a... So you could probably hear us. <laughs> and good sounds. Special for TIA, I'm guessing. TIA does very good environmental sounds, Man. like the grrrr and the squealing. Uh, ben is... 110! Oh, there you go, six seconds that behind. Better. It's better you than last better, time. Actually, but... yeah. Uh, you're using TIA? Yeah, t all TIA. Yeah, TIA is great for, like, grumbling sounds and stuff. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, do you want it? Oh, time trial. We haven't done that. I don't know Shoot. what that is. I'm going to do this one. Is it just on your own? That's what it is. Okay. This is where, this is where you go for your PB. Yep. Yeah. Practice without the, uh, this. nuisance of the car zooming away from you. <laughs> yeah, and the people, oh yeah, see, these ones, if you hug it, it's like, you gotta, you, yeah. God, this game is all about learning, learning, yep. learning. Memorizing the, the course. If you knowing can... and feeling out the, like, the turns. You need, like, um with the rally cars is it you need a navigator okay right turn coming up uh left turn uh hard left hard left hard left that's what <laughs> you need it is easier with the single two to have the full screen because you can kind of see what's coming that's but god you just gotta know the game a lot. you just gotta know the track yeah so then you can really optimize and turn before it it comes up and if you can like get good enough oh. to not hit a wall like, oh. oh yeah yeah to get Get perfect, you can't hit any walls. Right? That was pretty good. That was great. Yeah, you gotta kind of overcorrect and then know what's coming. Alternate uh, blue red tires on the side, really good. 
for a minimalist look to to the track. See, this is the meditative version. This is the like you play four hundred and thirty two hertz and just <laughs> <laughs> you're always the winner. Just hang out and try to best yourself. That's right. Do not compare yourself to others. That compare is yourself. Way. To yourself. <laughs> Try to beat your own record. Be the best heroin you can be. Yeah. That's what we gotta do. Yeah. Or you just you lock won. in and then <laughs> anything's possible. That's very cool. Very nice. Um that's a fun racing. Oh, game. really fun, solid game, man. Those Sounds really... great. Uh lots of tracks to choose from. Very clean, simple. I yep. mean also just very addictive. The style of game you just basically want to just hang out and, and learn th- the tracks and yeah and and I think the screen is just big enough to do two players like I didn't have a problem with like oh no I'm crashing all the time because I can't see enough yeah um, you can see when like the track disappears and you know a turn is coming up you can watch the walls and kind of anticipate it obviously better if you can memorize it. Uh, and if you play a track enough, you'll get the hang of how many lefts, how many rights. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm not sure if more laps or less laps is easier because less laps you need to be perfect with each one. More laps you have more chance to sort of learn it and catch up. But... Yeah. So tr- learning and training, you'd probably want to set the laps to max, right? Yeah. But it is now time for Bernie to take center stage. Oh, this is new. What's up with Bernie? Yeah. Um, this is Muddy Funster's wife made oh. this, and he sent it to me a long time ago. Oh, Bernie. Because Mer- Bernie is the unofficial mascot of Muddy Vision, I think. Doot, doot, doot. And uh, so Atari always threatens, he's looking at it right now, threatens to <laughs> destroy Bernie because he usually sits up here above the zero page homebrew sign. But now he gets to take center stage and sit right here on the on the on the 7800 in preparation channeling its powers game. unleash the super pro he's gonna, he's atari gonna be, it's gonna be good luck for playing this game retro hq dude holy shit okay um, initializing <laughs> yo um so before you start it up it's already started sorry no 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 you haven't started it. it's all good <laughs> you finished the game you beat it it's over Actually, nobody saw anything um, so this is Bernie and the Tower of Doom. Uh, it's exclusive work in progress update to the game. Uh, this will this version will be released uh, this weekend sometime. So just get it prepped. Go in one, um, but don't start it. Um, this was first posted December twentieth, twenty twenty two. This build is from today, two hours ago, fresh. Uh, it is a half meg game Ooh. uh 512k so big one um it is by made by uh muddy muddy vision lewis hill muddy funster Mikhail michael spilovsky miker for the music dave hughes for additional graphics other games uh, that muddy funster has made 2048 arty bernie and the cubic conundrum bernie and the tower of doom which we're playing danger zone daredevil exo keystone coppers lola lines track and field tire tracks sonic runner and wilf there's an earlier demo right now in the atari age forms but if you wait uh for the weekend you'll be able to play it this one, uh, we last played this game April 19th, 2024, when it had three towers. Wow. This now is four towers. So we might just uh, go through the first three towers quickly or jump around a little bit because people have seen those. But we'll do all the overworld, do all the dialogues and stuff because cool. some people haven't seen those. Um, so we want to disable the break functionality. So. There we go. Break disabled. So get ready. Don't do it yet. Oh, I'm, put the I'm ready to lock screen in. Screen up. Change the cartridge graphic out. There we go. Okay. Need a Bernie t-shirt. Hell yeah. Need that Bernie t-shirt. Okay, so uh, start the game with the first button. Loading. Loading. Just hey, it's Bernie. It is Bernie. So let's Bernie. Look. So let's go over to help. Okay, I do need some help. And it's the second button. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Controls: Move Bernie using the gamepad. Left, move Bernie left. Right, move Bernie right. Fire one, jump. Fire zero. Uh, 
That's a zero, I guess. A uh, long press zero resets page. the level. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. What up, Bernie? Um, okay, so exit out of this. So I'm just kind of left is move left, <laughs> oh, right yeah. is move right. Okay, I got okay, it. Review, review it again. Just got to make sure I remember okay. left. They're saying nasty buzz. No. I think it's the game. I think it's the game. Let me mute the game and we'll be quiet. All good? I think we're all good. Sure, it's not it all was very music. Low. Yeah, I think it's the... Yeah, it was... Bzz, bzz, bzz. There was a bit of buzz. There's Wilf. Is that Wilf? <gasps> um, okay, go start? to options. Okay, options. So, options placeholder. TA sound effects. You can make them off, low, medium, high. And turn on and off the music. Oh. Can't do it yet. Oh, okay. It's just placeholder. What's TIA stand for? TIA. Sound effects? Oh, just before you loaded it. Yeah, there's some buzz. I saw it. I saw it pop up. T TIA is the built-in uh, sound chip oh, into okay, it, okay. and people can add other sound chips to the cartridges. Television interface adapter is what it says. Oh, thanks, guys. Okay, start it up. It was just after 4 p.m. on a Friday afternoon. Bernie and Mrs. B were enjoying a nice cup of afternoon tea. Oh, Very it's British. lovely. There they are, up there. They're spilling the, the tea. tea. Yeah, spilling the tea. the tea of the day. And a sink and a window. And uh, got Bernie Jr. Look at this. The tea maybe? is piping. Look oh, it's a demon. It's, it's piping. Okay. With a smash and a crash. Look, animation. Peaceful afternoon. There came an, to an abrupt end a whiz mail owl. Had oh, made a rather shit. unfortunate landing in Bernie's garden. So no. it hit the window and then didn't make it through the window and fell in the Are garden. Are we going to abandon the piping tea? We have to. Bernie retrieved the message from the dazed looking owl. It was a scroll sealed with a red Oh, oh I feel like this is a call to adventure if I've ever, if I've ever seen one. It could only be from Bernie's old and faithful friend. Not oldest, just is an old friend. And he's faithful. He's, he's very faithful. faithful. Melvin the really forgetful. Carefully, Bernie opened the scroll and read. Old friend, I need you. No, I won't do it. I need, I need your, your assistance. assistance. <laughs> Please meet me at the old tower of the moon road. Come quickly. Melvin. Melvin. I did the voice in uh, earlier versions of it. <laughs> uh, okay. Chapter one. Ooh, that's nice. That's seems new is that's that a, that's new? idyllic my i will read out um everything he's that's beautiful again. man that's that a little really piece nice. of art i love our composition framing the tree on the left yes. focal point very balanced foreground mid right. ground background we have a one point perspective but it but it yes. curves in this beautiful way we have these these mountains yeah the trail leading to the town we have this beautiful and Forest great colors and shading Uni. what is this guys what is who's this? doing this amazing thing? Whoa. There's Bernie. There's hey. the nice landscape. He can oh, go back home. I'm oh, getting like, a real Mario like vibe yes. of like Mario the, Three, Super Mario Three, yeah, yeah. Overworld. That's. Uh, is this our friend? There's a sign there. Sign reads: The Moon Road Crescent Tower. Ahead. Holy shit! Okay, I'm on the Moon Road right now. The Moon Road. Melvin. Old oh. friend. Okay, you. Uh, who do you want to be? I'll be. I'll be. Uh, well, you're playing. So you Melvin, old friend. Barry, so good to see you. It's Bernie and you're late. A wizard is never late, Bradley. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. What movie is that from? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, some tiny little indie thing. Uh, Sigh, what's so urgent that you need to drag me away from my Friday afternoon tea with my lovely wife? That dastardly droid, Cedric. Cedric! He's back! And he's causing mischief. How? He should be in jail! Well, he's back, and what's more, he's taken over all of the old towers from the time before, Cedric. and he is mind-warping everything. That rancorous, repugnant robot! Oh, alliteration. The spudlings have gone mad. Mad. The grumpkins are grumpier than usual, and there are reports of uh, yeah. uh, squirrel source and no mycilla. way. That's impossible. I wish it were, belly old chap. Melvin, what should we do? Well, start with the tower up ahead. Get in, collect the stars, and shut off whatever is sending out the mind control signal. Sigh, today was my day off. I wasn't even supposed to be here today. Yeah, you caught it. There you go. I wasn't well, there's even a rock supposed in your way. to be here today. No, oh. Bernie. Uh, okay. Let's do it. Until 2001, that would have been an obscure nerd reference. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, jump into the first tower. Jump in, let's go. Entering. Entering the Great Crescent music. Tower. Great music. I love this little icon as well. Okay, so you can jump. You have to get the stars by jumping on them. And it oh. takes a little bit to jump on them, so be warned. Okay, you got it. And you can jump on the bubbles, which makes you go below. But when you fall, it takes a bit of time to recover. So keep that in mind when that guy is... There you go. And now you can get on uh -oh. the ladders, either down or up, to avoid him till he passes. And I can do that in the meantime. You're going to be in trouble, maybe. Uh -oh. No, you're definitely going to be in trouble. Run down! You have two more stars. Get me on the ladder. Get me on the ladder. Okay. And your timing has to be much better. No, no! Oh, you can jump off. Get off! How do I get to that one, though? Well, go down the ladder. Go to the bubble, and it wraps around. <gasps> There you go. Are you kidding me? I am not. No. It only wraps around vertically, though. No not way. Okay, okay, okay. Nom, 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 nom. Oh. Look at this. Did I just collect? That's right. Oh, Look at those. Look around. at those muscles. Floor complete. Attempts on this floor, one. Total, Total attempts, one. 100%. Because we were locked in. Nom, 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 so those guys wake up the second. when they see you. No. So you gotta, no, 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 abandon fail, shit. Fail. Okay, okay, so I gotta draw him back. Yeah, you're catching on. I gotta draw him back. Oh, oh, oh no. no. I was trying to be a perfectionist. Too close, too close to the sun. Shall, Shall we, we try, try again? again? Let's try again. See, now you have more of a chance because he's actually past the ladder. Oh, you wouldn't be able to get okay, him Okay, okay, so what we gotta do... So, wait, it's tile-based. So all you have to do is press once and it'll move exactly to that tile. Oh, so that's a little hint, is that it is tile-based, so you don't have to... Okay, okay. You know, what's a better move? It doesn't really matter. Oh, just perfect. That's the absolute perfect position you can get him in. There you go. Nom, 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 nom. Give me Consider those stars. These training levels. Uh-oh. We think it's about to pop off. <laughs> it's about to... <laughs> It's about to get so much harder, okay, so I think. Gonna, What's this device doing? Gonna, jump on it. There you go. So oh, a bridge! So I I'm feel like it's probably good to have the bridge for now. So I'm going to read all the changes okay, cool. uh, while you figure it out. Uh, quite a bit has changed since the last public demo of Bernie and the Tower of Doom. Not all the changes are on the surface. A lot has changed under the hood, so to speak, with a lot of code optimization and bug fixes as well as general tuning. An additional tower is not now accessible in the forest world, bringing the total to four towers and 20 levels. Uh, so there's five um, air or rooms per tower. Uh, that's pretty much it for the forest world, and the next world is the frozen wastes of Ocella. Uh, or Ocella. Ocean? Ocella? The demo also includes a transition bonus level where you get to pilot Bernie submarine to get across or under the ocean to Ocella. Ocella. Uh, I think there will be four worlds in total with three t transitions. So in this, we'll be able to see the full first world. Uh, adding the transition levels was probably a bit of misjudgment on my part, as I underestimated the effort it required quite a bit. Ended up basically, uh, uh, it ended up basically a whole second game engine. Well, a third game engine if we could, if we count the overworld map engine too, which pretty much it is another engine. So this was another extra layer of complexity I'd probably misjudged to start with. Anyway, anyway I think it's a, in a good spot now and I have a decent little engine working and the idea is for a light shoot 'em up no, Yes! I'm done. I can cook. It's not supposed to be an R type or gra Gradius. It's a bit of <laughs> no. light fun to break up the platforming. I'm cooked. Oh, you have to hold down the first button. Oh yeah, I can reset. Keep holding. Keep holding. I don't want to Bernie. Yeah. Um, the first significant Easter egg. Uh, oh, first significant Easter egg is in the game where you can earn an extra attempt per tower or per transit. So it's somewhere in the tower. You get that. Um, I highly encourage exploration around the little monoliths that you see dotted around the map. Okay, so it's on the overworld. No, I ran out of, I ran out of attempts. Oh, no. Can't even make it past the first tower. Well, after I read this out, we're gonna start skipping. Oh yeah, and then you can take over. Yeah, and you can uh, grow me. Uh, a sneak peek of the Oshella no. map is also in the demo. It looks a lot similar to the forest, but pretty much all the graphics are redrawn for a slightly snowy aesthetic. To complete, 
Uh, uh, to complete the demo, walk up to the grumble door in his yellow boots. So, super summary. The Forest World Uni is now pretty much complete content level wise. The new tower is added to the demo. Animated map elements, clouds, water. There's still one or two to add. The submarine transit level is now fully implemented. Boy, this took some doing. This is basically a whole extra game engine. One of those I didn't think that through at moments. We'll likely get some tweaks and adjustments. The second world is now present but not playable. Oshella, the wilderness. Uh, it's in the demo so you can see where things are going. Uh, a ton of cosmetic updates and touch-ups to the graphics level. The chapter screens have, ne have now have graphics. I knew that was me. Uh, for the chapter as well as a bit of extra polish. They look absolutely gorgeous, those, those uh, pictures in the chapters. Uh, new enemies appear in Tower 4. New puzzle elements appear in Tower 4. Yes, Bernie is blue. This is likely temporary due to the cold. Oh, he's like, just sad, man. It's okay. Everyone has tough That's right. Yeah, a little blue. A little blue is fine. It's Ooh. okay to be blue. Uh, We're not judging, Bernie. That's right. Easter egg. There are a couple minor glitches that occur with the UI on a couple levels. They are on the list to fix. Same with the sub-level. Sometimes a split-second minor glitch at the start. It's also on the list. Um, and we're able to skip the level with uh, select. And, uh, let's see. and uh, of course, it will be released sometime over the weekend. So keep Ooh. your eyes open for it on the Atari Age forums. And uh, okay, already. I'll let you finish this one up. Have you played this one? Yeah. I'll let you finish this one. Oh, that was close. Bernie! Bernie. Bernie, we've got this, my guy. You okay. Can, we've got this. Okay. Get the skip. Floor complete! Good job. Okay, press fire. Press fire. Pass it over. Okay. To the pro! <laughs> to the super pro! So there's supposed to be, uh, extra extra little things, easter eggs, extra lives, Some, that looks like a thing right there. It oh, really wow. does. Could be a jibate though. I'm not pressing though. the right button. Oh! Party oh. It's party time! Does that mean a... Uh, what's that mean? <laughs> that means he gets gets the cat oh, lead. Oh, dude, that is, pa it is party time. Party time for kittens. See, this is a tactic, guys. Party time before treat time, treat time before party time. Yeah, they know, they know how they to know do it. They know what's up, man. They know exactly what they're doing. Oh, I know. There you go. Let's put it over. Let's move this over here. Put it there. Like that. There's some party time for kittens. I'll read this sign out. The sign reads, no fishing. Queen Russet of the Spudlings. Next turning. Oh, there will be some fishing. Oh, I think there will be. I feel like it's interesting, like, when you put up a sign that says, like, don't go in here. I feel like so you're just can, begging for people to go in so there. you can see there's an island. Oh, yeah. My favorite is when they they tell you not to do something you didn't think about doing in the first place. You're <laughs> like, well, now I'm gonna now, do it. Now I'm focused on that. The power of, um... Bloom Glock Brook Twinkle Tower. Oh, it's so cool. So is this, uh, what's this rock down here? Sir Bernie, it's good to see you. Uh, no, you do that first. Sir Bernie, it's good to see you in these troubled times. Queen Russet, I need to cross the Gloom Clops Brook. Unfortunately, the bridge is damaged. If you can stop the the drone coming from the, the Twinkle Tower, then my people can repair the bridge for you. Very good, Jerome, with spiteliness. I'll get right on it. Please, please help <laughs> me, Bernie. You're my only hope. <laughs> So there's the bridge. Can't get past it. Bernie, you must help us with this bridge. Twinkle Tower. Twinkle Tower, we know what's up. So we played this before. We're gonna cheat. I'll go, go back and talk to her. Just, oh, does it change right. the dialogue? I'm sure it might be the same, but I'm just very curious. That's a good. 
Lisa Bunny. It's good to see you in these troubled times. She obviously has not been assessed of the update because the bridge is still damaged. But I did get on it. So that might be something to do cool, is, cool is to say, say thank you for fixing the thank bridge. Thank you. Jump in you the water, you succeeded in the twinkle tower, Bernie. Thank you for your time. <laughs> oh, is that a wizard? It is a wizard. Yo, you're a wizard. It's like a mushroom it's next locked. to him. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, you're off to a good start. Well, that's the two towers sorted. There can't be many more, right? Well... Right, Melvin? Well, it's not that simple. We need to get word to my old mate, Grumbledore. He's far to the north in Osula. If we can knock out the tower to the north and south, we should be able to get to the docks. Okay, but what then? Well, I'll figure out a way to get you from Donny to Ocella. Uni. Uni to Ocella. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> okay, but preferably this time not via the cubic prism. Um, yes, of course. Oh. That's another game he's made. A cubic conundrum. Oh. Bernie in the cubic conundrum. Uh, he left? He's gone? Switch back? Oh, I did. Oh, he must have typed that. Yeah, we lost he's... him. Oh, he's gone. He'll oh. find a way. When... <sighs> Grumbledore. I want to I see what's up with Grumbledore. That's going to be cool. Okay, so this is the third tower, which we've done all as well. Crater tower? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. There's bubbles that you fall, and you have to get magic potions. Puzzle games. So you can push those things. It is good. Nah. There's lots of switches. Ooh, the design of these char those characters look familiar. We got a mouse? What is going yeah. on? Yeah, these guys nice. here resemble nice, yeah, uh, some key. some iconic characters. Oh, which ones? Just these like those like guys that move. I feel like I'm trying uh, to think of what what it is, but I feel like they uh, resemble a classic uh, Nintendo game. Oh. oh. Maybe the like Pac-Man people. Is that what I'm thinking of? The Pac-Man people. I'm trying to the think ghosts? of where it is. Yeah, I'm, maybe I'm, I'm could be wrong, but uh, uh. I I'm, I could be out of my mind. But I they they feel like they take inspiration from the clouds. clouds. Love the clouds. They're great. It's so nice. Okay, this is not part we have not seen. You missed seen. something. Mighty Funster oh, said we missed what, something. What, 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 what? What's going on? What's going on? Let's go to the, let's go up. Maybe it's in the uh, the uh, the top area. Well, there must oh. be. Maybe there's something that we didn't read. Oh, this mushroom over well, here. There's a monolith behind it. Ooh, I want to, I want to get to this monolith. Oh. Yo! Who knew that? Bernie, thank you for freeing us from the clutches of Cedric. You're welcome, my grumpy friend. Please take this as a token of our appreciation. It allows one extra try in each tower. Max try is now five. Yes. Very helpful. Bernie, thank you. Thank you, Bernie. Thank you, Bernie. <laughs> Goodbye, Bernie. I'm going to stay in this monolith. Bernie, here's your extra chance. Bernie, come back. Bernie. Bernie. No. Bernie, we're stuck. Bernie. <laughs> I went back in. Press fire too. Do you see fast. these? Do you see these guys? Do you see them? Oh, at the top? Yeah. Oh, it feels Bob like... and Bob from Bubble Bobble? Yes, that's it. That's it. That's the character. Yeah, it's just a classic. Yeah. Just sort of a similar. Just an inspiration. Not a not a copy, but ripped them like, wholesale. Ripped like them off wholesale. I feel like there's some inspiration. Some. Well, it's just a amorphous blob an, an, character. An homage to. The sign reads, Dark Road, Misty Tower. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know you're into something when you're going down the dark road into the Misty Towers, man. Yep. Welcome, Crunch of the Clown. Misty Tower. Misty Towers. Hey, now crunchy. we're in for it. Okay. At least we have I think one some, extra try. some mist is on is what's going on. Oh, my God. Where am I? Okay. Well, that's a gimme right there. Oh, my yeah, God. Man. Those guys climb and drop. Oh boy. Uh oh. This is another gimme. We gotta we gotta try to predict oh, their pattern. Oh, does it have a pattern? Okay. Let's see. Oh jeez, it's coming for me. Come oh, right for me! Bernie! Oh god. Bernie. Yeah, I'm gonna go down here. Bernie, I believe Don't, in come you. Don't come down. 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 Oh. I wonder what the heck that um that like switch does. Well uh, it switches off. Oh, that bridge, the top right bridge. Oh, it switches on and off the bridges. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, you ah! 
Whoa, okay, this, yeah, good. I think you're gonna get it. Cause yeah, I think it's gonna switch off that one bridge on the other, nice. Yeah, so this is kind of a, just a learning level. There, there we, we go. go, there's our window. We're ramping, we're ramping. Ramping up! Super Bro Race is awesome, this game's awesome too. Hell yeah! I totally this game agree, is Crunchy so the Clown. Good. It's perfect mix between puzzle and action. And great and fun character dialogue interactions. I love that, all that world building stuff. It goes so far, man. It's, it's a big, it really helps. Ooh, me. What's happening here? Uh, we, is, I see some mice, some that? cheese. Oh no, it's a one pass through time. I've wrecked it already. Uh oh. <laughs> well, let's explore the rest of the level. <laughs> so this is like an elevator down. You pass through, get the cheese, get out, get the mice out of the way, switch the switch. Now those, all all the platforms are done, which is good. But now I can't get out. So I have to switch the switch to, to fall through to the bottom. And this is definitely like an oh, order. Oh, this something, is that, an order. That thing wraps around though, right? Yeah, that bubble will wrap around, which would give me another chance. But I can't get that one unless I throw the switch. Which Then I can do the bubble. I can get one mouse, get the cheese, get the mouse, get that. Maybe, oh no, stop. No! Yeah, because that's already solid. So next round, I have to think about this. Yeah, that's where we need the order of the order of operations. Yes. Okay, so if no you want to uh, start up with the questions, oh, yeah, we'll definitely. see if I can play and I answer you, difficult questions. I think you definitely questions. will be able to. Yeah, because I think it's interesting the topic of like journalism and gaming and the kind of your role in the thing. I think the first question yeah. is, would you consider yourself a journalist, a reviewer, or kind of something different than that? What's Definitely your... not a journalist, because that is a prestigious mm -hmm. level that you have to do massive amounts of research, make sure you cooperate. You need sources. You need not just one source, multiple sources. This is a little bit different because I get things directly from um, the source. Uh, when I'm playing these games, I usually get them directly from the developer. They post information and they're the person who um, gives the information directly. And why was it, is there any reason to doubt? Um, what was the other option? Was well, this a reviewer or, or something different? Now, a reviewer, hmm, I almost wouldn't say yes to that because of reasons that other questions will reveal. Well, it feels like reviewers, critics, it's sort of a different... Well, I have to turn this on because I need that one for the bridge. Um, yeah. Because I am curious Even for you, what, what would you define um, like a journalist, a reviewer, and a critic? Like for in your mind, what is okay. the sort of what That's are a the good question. what are the definitions for you? Journalist is they really focus on very specific things. One could say they lock like, in. They lock in, <laughs> and and like like they go very deep, yeah. like super super deep, and there's so many. Now what should we do first here? Um, the I bridge think, is open, and I've got everything. So I'm good to go. You can just go through. Yeah. God. No. I should have dropped. Oh no. Okay. Um, yeah, journalist goes deeper than I go, because I have a lot of games that yeah. I that I play. Yeah, one could think a journalist um, like six a week. I yeah. I don't have time to do like super super in depth. Yeah, and then like for you, what's a reviewer sort of do? What's the role in terms of... A reviewer would be somebody who gives a score. Yeah. I am not really keen on that aspect of it. I don't want to rate games because that pits them up against each other. It's like, oh, I gave a five to this. I gave a two to this. That means I'm directly comparing those two games. Okay, now I gotta think about this one for a second. Now, if I drop down that bubble, I'll just be looping. And yeah, I'll and never you, be able to throw that switch. Well, I will be And able you to only later. get the bubble once is an important factor yes. as well. Now, I do have a cheese. I don't think I have a cheese right now. Anyway, I need to do this. 
get that, get that, no, no, and then no, I have no. to go out. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. It's the next part I need to think about. Enthusiast. Yeah. Enthusiast. And why, and why documentarian. Do I, I am a documentarian, but not in this realm. Yeah, I feel like I mean, a, in, in mass, I guess you could say I have been documenting the scene for the past seven years in a in a broad scope of things yeah i feel like if you were making like um like a kind of short form or long form edited content that's yeah. been really sort of like you've sat at the console and really selected these clips and stuff it feels like you know doing stuff live is really tricky oh see so i really hope to uh hope to mike matei of angry video game nerd fame stream this when it's done he loves uh, oh I, you hope he plays this arcade oh, puzzle see. games Okay, now I did it that way, but that's just death because I can't escape. But, oh, because I don't have a cheese. That's why I can't. But you also don't have the... I don't have a cheese. That's why I couldn't get past that mouse. Yeah. So if I uh, go down one more, go through that, open up the switch... Can you fall through and then... Oh, does this wrap around? I'm going to have to do that. If this wraps around, then that's good. Okay, well, I have to go there. <laughs> I have to throw that switch. Because otherwise I'm just stuck. Yeah. But then I'm just looping. So that's not the solution. So once that elevator's to the bottom, it's, it's done, over. and I feel like actually that star is the is the critical star. It is. So I have to concentrate on that star first. So let's start. Maybe do a full it. reset, like yeah, because you're that like. Um, and then uh, why don't you use a rating system? Like what's why? Like I'm just curious from a sort of a pros and cons point of view. Why would you not want to incorporate that into the sort of like um, format of the show? I don't. I don't like saying one game is better than the other. Yeah. I just don't like it. And and it creates possible tension. Um, I like to celebrate all the games. Every game I play, I think that there is um, merit to it. Um, and I like to focus on what is awesome about that game. Not that that game is better than that game because it does this. Each game brings its own thing to it. Okay. Maybe I don't do the top one. And I use... Oh, no, no, no. Because when you open those switches, it flips all three. Mm -hmm. But I can... Wait a second. I can do that one last. You can easily because wrap I can around Because I can wrap around. Yeah. So I don't need to do the top one. That's the key. Let me know when you want help on this one. Oh, well, we will. I think we're probably... I think we're... Um, we're okay. Now, do this. I do this? Now, if I do this, I can't get back out. What I, I can get to the bottom and get to the top one. That's the thing. What I would propose is Ooh. cheese, kill that one, cheese, cheese, grab it, go back down, kill it, cheese, grab it, down, so I'm going to try this, this one. Yeah, because I think this, this is... is... And then... And grab this and now I think flip it go down grab this flip it do the top one drop again because I'm going up that side to the mm -hmm. elevator and then I've just got that last one and I can breeze through because I have an extra cheese I think so yeah. I think yeah. okay do I have yes I do oh I don't have an extra cheese To do There's that. a way to do this. Don't flip it. Don't no. flip it. Well, I have to learn. He has to learn. What we need is we need that cheese after this guy. That's so we problem. need to we need to get the bottom one first, I think, and then the top one. Because the problem is, is we have to kill two. No, I don't need, have a cheese, right? But we need the cheese. Yeah. I don't have a cheese. Don't flip it. But we need the, oh! we need the cheese. <laughs> okay. I think let's make our, our priority to try to get Oh, that. you know what? I didn't need to do that. Yes, he's absolutely correct. I know now. I know now. Okay, so it was... Right? Do this level first. Blaze along. Flip it. 
grab this. this guy because it wraps around me. And I wrap around the left side. Da, da, da. <laughs> and I have a cheese now. Yeah, because this is the guy you gotta beat. Like that. I have cheese. I have an extra cheese. And now you can. And now I just need to flip it, go through the bubble, and get that last one. Yeah. Flip it, bubble, grab the cheese, take them out. Take them out. Well, it's, it's over. Oh, right. Grab the cheese, yeah. and you're good. I forgot where I was falling. Um, uh, here's, another da, da, da. here's another question for you. Um, uh, do you cover every single game? No, I do not cover every single game. Because there are... Am I in danger? <laughs> um, there's games in various stages mm -hmm. of development. Right now, there's games that are really not games. They're kind of works in progress. They're proofs of concept. Where they're not at a point where showing them on the show would do them justice. Oh, I am in danger. <laughs> um, and I wouldn't want to show them before there was something that would like people would go, oh, that's that's really cool. What's this acorn do? Um, it defeats that dude, uh, the squirrel dude. Um, I think I need to go through this. And it's gonna follow me. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. So there's there's lots of games out there, um, but I do try to cover all the games when they're at a stage because every game has something to yeah. it. Uh, unless it's like super 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 iterative. Oh my god, no time to stop. That's okay. Then I can talk. Um, unless it's like really really iterative. And, and it wouldn't be interesting at all, or it's like really, really uh, low. Oh God. What's your, um, what's your low. big criteria, would you say, for like instinctively when you go, oh, this is ready and this isn't, you know? Something that catches my eye. Um, or not, not that. When it's, when it's ready, it's like, um, it's playable. There's score. There's a goal, there's there's something, there's there's an end to the game. Oh, oh, oh don't come up, don't come up. No. Man, I'm doing really terrible. Let's uh let's just die in your side. I need my lives for We need we need the lives. Sides. Um Yeah, there's it, there's enough to show off that it would be like, oh this is cool, this is people will appreciate seeing it, and they can maybe even download it and play it themselves and get something out of the game. Yeah, and I guess with work in progress too, sometimes it's to encourage people to keep going as well, right? That Which too. Is... Sometimes I do sometimes play them early because there's something super cool that I want to show off in the game. And you've also, I know you've resurrected some, some <laughs> games from development as well. Oh, now, obviously, it's yeah. not like you've done it, but it's like no. by, by, by talking about it, you, there's The developer like, goes, Oh, oh, somebody maybe. cares. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's so hard when you're in just in complete silo with stuff to know, like, is this reaching and making an impact? Like, Yeah, does anybody care about what I'm doing? Is this a good idea even to keep going with it? That's that's a thing that, that de all developers, I think, think, even like seasoned developers are like, uh, I don't know, I don't know, is this cool? Is this a waste of my time? Fall, are you gonna fall? Are you gonna fall? Perfect. Nice. Um, so and yeah, yeah, I do play works in progress sometimes before their time because I really want to show off this super innovative thing that I've never seen before in a 2600, 7800, whatever game. And I'm like, okay, this this is amazing. This person has to keep going with this. Yeah, without getting into specifics, I'm curious. Um, what, why would you skip a game? What would be like a like a reason for you to like to to never play a game? Yeah, or, or maybe maybe not to never. Like it'd be interesting answer too to never, and then also maybe just to go like, oh, this needs. Well, like one reason I gave was that it's way too iterative of something else. It's like, oh, we've seen this completely before. Yeah. It doesn't bring anything new. Sometimes I'll even play those anyway, because it's fine. Um, um, but usually I'll, I'll, I'll play them too, because sometimes it's a new uh, developer. That is, this is their first game. 
and I always want to encourage new developers um, because the more games that are out there, uh, the better, right? And please don't get into any specifics with this because I don't want to call anything up. But has there ever been an instance where you're like, yeah, I'm never touching this? Yes. Yes, there has been. Um, and what would be the general reason why not? Again, I don't want you to call anything out, but what would yeah. be the... Yeah, there's been some games I have not skipped, mostly not because of the game, but because of the developer. Yeah. Either they have asked me to not play the game on the show. Yeah, that's a great reason why not to play. And I don't, yeah, yes. <laughs> that's, the, that's the and best I would reason. never want to go against a developer's wishes. Um, and it's not... Maybe I should have gone down first. Oh, no. Should I go through that? Ooh. I don't know. I really I don't know. Should on this side? Oh, there we go. There's an opportunity. I don't want to I don't know how that. we're going to get that top one. Oh, bubble. Bubble yeah, at doing the, the very bubble. end. Um, or, oh, I got to... Oh, jeez. No! Damn it. Or there's a reason why I don't want to play that developer's game on the show. This one. Um, because there's drama surrounding that person yeah. or that person is not a good member of the community or not even or not any more part of the community something like that where it's just more trouble than it's worth yeah let's say and there's been instances where i have not played a game because of that and as predictably there was drama <laughs> yeah <laughs> because i didn't play their game so i'm i'm like well I uh, made the right choice. Oh, 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 oh! Yes. Oh, oh is it gonna be okay. And um, and this is an interesting. This is kind of at the, to the heart of the discussion, <laughs> right? Good boy, got damn it! Oh, damn so it. close. Oh, I needed to just. Oh, okay. So that that's the long and the short of that one. Um, but like, do you, this is sort of the heart of the of the of the whole conversation. Do you think skipping a game like that, or for a reason, is ethical, or do you think, as a reviewer or a, or a person in this space, you have an obligation to kind of um, uh, give everything a chance despite the drama, or you know, do, do you, is it worth it to take the slings and arrows for an ethical reason? Um, I I'm not a journalist. I'm not trying to play every single game that's out there. I'd like to, within reason, uh, but I'm not playing a bunch of low effort, really terrible, adds nothing to the conversation. Yeah. Uh, practicing in Batari Basic, their first little um, trial of, of a game. I, I, I can't go for that. Yeah. I have to skip that. Okay, we're just going to um... yeah, let's get to that level so we can keep yeah. working that level because this is one that's like you really it's ironing you really gotta like yeah oh no i did this one um yeah so i i don't feel any obligation to play what <laughs> we didn't do that last time is there are no rules in this world <laughs> what am i supposed to do then just hang out Oh, he's changed his... Does he change every game? Every iteration, he has a new pattern. Well, now I have time. Interesting, hey? Um, so, yeah, I, I don't feel any ethical obligation to... to play every single... That's not high enough. Okay. Gotta go. Gotta go! No! no! Damn it. Really hard. You're fighting the AI of this Because I'm not a journalist. I am not seeking to play all the games. Oh they, my god, every then, time. Um, uh, That's, I gotta use this. Russ is saying there lately was some P-O-R-N wannabe game. I suppose you skipped that one too. Well, he didn't release a binary. Yeah, so that's... I didn't ask for a binary either. I have, we, during our playing every single game of the 2600 classic era, there are some PRN games. <laughs> there are blocks on the screen. Yeah. Uh, what we did is we played them without visuals. And because everybody has played those games, they, know they didn't up? need to see them. Um, the risque, risque 2600 games. Now, which way are you going to go this time? See? There. Muddy. 
make me crazy with these dudes that that change direction every single time. Yeah, and he said also those darn M-rated Atari games. I don't know what that means. What's an M-rated game? I, I would say they're all anything that shoots bullets. Oh, mature, right? Yeah, shoots bullets is M-rated. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I could wrap around here. Yeah, and that's could... a quick out. Actually, I'm safe up here. And you gotta do, you gotta get that at some point, anyways. Yeah. Oh, jeez, oh, he I'm not fell. Safe. Oh, I forgot. That's not so. Never mind. I'm not doing that. Yeah, and Gamma Dev says I used to have the whole separate the art from the artist. This time has gone on. I've seen the folly of that, and finally, it, yeah. f that person. They don't need the money from for a pony. <laughs> Pony? That's what he says. That's so funny. It's so true. It's like, <laughs> yeah. we ain't giving them no pony. Oh, jeez. Now he's stuck there. Oh, my God. I don't have time. Oh, I do. I do. No, you don't no. have time. Oh, my God. See, I can't not true pay attention True puzzle to game, this. man. Holy cow. Wow, this one's tough. Thank you for the level skip. Yeah. It is Especially much appreciated. For purposes of the show, 100%. So you're going to go left? You're going to go right. Okay. Oh, now you're stuck there. That's... That's great. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, what am I going to do? I'm going to try think maybe, the like, timing? literally, like... No. no, it's impossible. You can't. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, that is good to know. You are not safe. You are not safe. You're oh. never safe, Muddy. No. Bernie. Look at so Bernie. So, should I go down here? No. No. What should I do to... You had it. Um. I think just... Just go fast. Just do this. It goes fast as possible. Then he goes that way, and I can't do it. What is the safe way to do it? You had it before. I don't remember what you did. Where do I? No, I was just I was just picking a direction and going. Oh, I hope he doesn't get me. Like that. Now I'm fine. Yeah. But I have to pick you, one of. You've got to get that acorn as well. Yeah. That's because the the pass through is open. This is this is RNG. Like it's brutal. Ooh, there. And um here's a and here's another interesting sort of question. If you don't rate games, why do you hold the Atari Homebrew Awards of essentially? <laughs> How dare games? you ask me that question I wrote up for you? <laughs> <laughs> Can you do this? No, you can't. It's pretty, um, it's some, some pretty in intense interviewing over here. Um uh, uh, yes, I do hold them. Because I think they're, it's cool to give people recognition, and I don't, um, I don't vote <laughs> in the Atari Homebrew Awards. Oh my God, he came back yeah, that way. It feels way. like it's a community-oriented decision, right? Rather the community than community votes. Rather than you as a sort of reviewer being like, "Hey, this is this is this is the one." Um, and how do you feel about um, sort of saying uh, your favorites or least favorites and sharing that kind of that, point of view? I do that actually. Um, I have favorite shows, uh, like my favorite um, shooters, or you know my favorite. Um, Nope, nope. Oh, good, good timing, good timing. Wake up, wake up, wake up, up. Oh my God. Okay, two more to go. Okay, we can You're do so this. You're so close. We can do this. Um, but I'm not ranking them, and I and I include a lot. Yeah. In that. So I hurry up, hurry up. That was like oh. in the nick of time. So you can come back. Don't drop from the top. Yeah. Don't drop. GG, yes. But I still think there's RNG. Feels like that. there is, because like, there's times with it, especially that initial one, that decision of going up or down it or left, it almost feels like, because sometimes it did one, sometimes it did the other. Yeah. Oh, boy. Am I safe? I am safe. Whoa, so this guy here, he... Um... This is tough. Um, not too bad, actually. You go here. Oh, no, I have to complete... Oh, no. Okay. I thought I had to completely dissolve the bubbles to pass through them. Oh no! What? He, I think he flicks the switch. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> Thank you. I was like, what's happening? But this is an interesting challenge here, right? Because so what I have to do, I have to drop him. That's not too bad. But then I don't think he can climb, and then I'm fine. I just flip the switch. I think. Flip the switch. Wait for him to come, and then I just go over and jump on it. 
No, no, no. Oh, he dies. Oof. He's, he's going to come back through. Safe. The spikes. Oh. Okay, that was, that was, kind of a that was markedly level. simpler than the last one. Oh, my God. So much simpler. So, potion. Safe potion. It is, I think with these things, too, another interesting, like, you brought it up at the very beginning that, like, although you might not call yourself uh, a, a journalist yeah. or a reviewer, these kinds of things, there's no doubt that you're um, being, having a, a show, you do have some influence over the community, and you do have, mm. by, by highlighting some yeah. or others, there is a sort of, like, whether you want it to or not, there is an effect, and do you, does there's that, does that sit with you? a negligible effect. <laughs> Well, yes, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine with me because otherwise there, there's... Whenever there's ethical dilemmas, you put things on a scale and you go, is this for the greater good or is this for a negative? And I think, and so far people have enjoyed the show, yeah. um, <laughs> that they're fine with the sh uh, They're They're good with it. Okay, I have to drop three of those down there. Switch it. Um, and people seem to enjoy the show, so I will keep making it. And I think it's. Um, See, I think this is where you could where just you up. could set it up. To then... <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I think I need to set it up on the blocks and then drop all three. Yeah. Yes, that's the way. Yeah. Or you could do it one at a time too. Um, yeah, this, oh, that's even better. That is better. Because yeah. as long as you set them up, it's Because fine. then they're out of my way. Um, so, yeah, I think... What do I need to do? Probably the middle one first. Because then I can do one from each side. Yeah. And then those guys don't. So. Uh, yeah, so that's my, my answer for that. I think it does more good than harm, which is a very strange way of describing a thing you do. Yeah, more, more, <laughs> more good since than harm. Since we're talking ethics. Oh, yeah, I need to uh, set this up. Yeah, and it's interesting, hey, with the, like, spotlighting a person and their that's work right. and the drama that it might create, you know? That's, there is that. That seems to be sort of the main sticking point for you of, like... It is. I don't, I don't need that drama. I don't need the drama that may come out in the community because of that. I am trying to be the most drama-free channel possible because I don't need it in my life. Some people love drama in their yeah, lives. They live their for that. Whole show. <laughs> yeah, their whole show is drama. Which, and that, you know, and that that's actually, their show. And, and probably if you did a drama show, you would probably have more viewers. But oh yeah. But I would would that? But would that be better? So see Not now. For I, me. See, here's the thing, man. I really do think with this one. Um, you can block it, right? Um, and so I don't know... Oh... Do you know what I mean? Like, you can block these guys in, but you have to get one. But once you're in there, you're in, so I don't know... But I know. can't come out of that, though. That's the problem. That's, so, that's the I can't block them. Why did they give me the fourth one? That's the thing I'm thinking Muddy. about with this. You know what I mean? Like, I wonder about getting that, like... <laughs> oh, Muddy says, very nice, Erlen. So you've got something going there, but I... Where do I block? Like, if I can only pick three to block. And I can either drop... Oh! I know what to do. I know what to do. Because I can't, I can't push one all the way to the left. You see yeah. that? But I can trap them all on the right-hand side. I think that's the way you got to do this. Yep. So you set that block up. On the right-hand on the right hand side. Yeah. But drop it when they're both. Yeah, I think so. Right and I think side. probably the farthest. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it'll be very careful. I have to wait. Now this is might be the opportunity. They just have to be past that block. And it drops pretty slow. There we go. Now I have to get on the left hand side. Yeah. No, 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 Which no, I can. No. Yeah. I can just drop down you here. Just go in. And then you gobble that up, gobble that up, and then destroy, push. destroy this level, and That's it's the actually the last it. level. Yes. Okay, I'm happy I thought of the block. These le this level and the level before should be like the first level. The levels. tower is complete. This one is a, this one's easier. These two are easier than the other one. Tower complete. Thank you, Grunchy the Clown. I didn't have to use ITC's hint. He did, because he's one of the beta testers for this. Um, and he sent me a hint for that really difficult one. Third? Third one. Yeah. Um, but luckily, 
Oh no! No, Misty Tower! <laughs> is this the fourth tower? Is this yeah. the... Yeah, so something I think about too when it comes to like, um, reviewers... Oh, somebody and... said, uh, before you say that, it's your show, you cover what you want. If you want to wax philosophical on the hidden masterpiece that is the Atari ET, e. go, go for, for it. it. Actually, ET's a good uh, adventure game. Yeah, that's Okay, good. sorry. I was going to say something that does, I reflect on a lot in terms of like reviewers and... Oh, it's it open? Is. Yeah. <gasps> so, let's... Let's see let's what wait. happens. Let's, let's wait. Hold on that. Yeah, Remember that thought. Let's see what happens. <gasps> what's up here? Oh, 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 let's see. Well done, Bruce. It's... Uh, uh, never mind. The dock is open now. Now it is open and we can get you on your way to the frozen land of Ocella to meet with Grumbledore. Melvin, how am I going to get Ocella? By swimming? Well, no, not exactly. Melvin, start talking. Will you see, my dear Benji, I've created something unique. Unique? Go on. I call it the B-O-A-T. The boat. The buoyance operated aquatic <laughs> transport. So a submarine? Onward, dear fellow. <laughs> <laughs> How's our voice acting? Are we going to get hired? Do we get the job? <laughs> yeah, give me... <laughs> this is about 20% of the game. Holy shit, muddy. Yeah, that's so... So, so there's five, four more. So oh, we've got a little see, note there. Great. Let's go check out this dock first. Blah, 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 game. Blah, 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 blah. A little note on the floor here. Ooh, Chapter look two. at that. The Great Deeps. Survive 10 waves. Kill 18 squid. 10 waves. I guess that's 10 levels. Sounds like there may be some sort of squid game. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> some sort of uh, game, game of, of squids. <laughs> My dear sir, Melvin, you... Ah, uh, shooter. Get, get ready. Yes. Yo. I'm ready. Oh, it's slow moving. This is this is this is. Oh, oh, they die slow. We gotta kill the die slow death. Oh, most oh, of now the, they're moving. This is have most of the levels designed. Oh, nice. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, I was gonna say. So what I find interesting about reviewers is that like there seems to be this like in my mind there almost mm. is this binary reviewing that happens. It's oh, like Jesus. because your job as a reviewer is yeah. to get views and entertainment. Everything is either Ooh. the greatest thing to ever come out or the worst this thing. This game sucks. This, this is the this best is the game for Atari that's come out in 20 years. <laughs> Look at this is the worst piece of garbage you've ever seen. This is You're, a system there, seller. There's nothing. This will tank Atari. <laughs> <laughs> this will destroy any future operations. This, the homebrew community will this be. This game destroys the homebrew scene. <laughs> you know, like it, it's interesting because that is what gets clicks. And, and there's like this whole yes. like and um I, there's this like famous uh sort of commentator i don't know if you know this guy asmund gold he's he might not be on your he's no, a he's i've a, heard of his name he's a wow sort of guy who ended up like started as a streamer ended up just doing review stuff um and something that he said is he's like what i do and makes the most he said uh is just like i will find a game that's sort of running out people aren't mm. playing it as much and i'll talk about how it's dying and dead and not very good <laughs> because everyone wants oh, to I read an article the other day criticizing dying games because it's like yeah it's been out for months people are not playing it as much of course and and he and his whole dying and his point was like you you want to hear this thing you're not doing you want someone to tell you that you're not doing it and that's a good thing mm. do you know what i mean it's like it's a interesting that was his take on the psychology positive that, like, reinforcement on negativity yeah and it's kind of like well so you're not playing diablo 4 so watching a video about someone t saying how terrible Diablo 4 is and why no one should be playing it. self reinforced You're like, oh, and he said... Ma That's why I'm not playing it. And, I agree. And then, and then, and then, I mean, that whole world gets into the reaction videos and all this stuff. But I find that, like, reviewers, like, the, the line between entertainment and journalism and reviewing <laughs> is so mingled and sort of melded, especially, especially with, like anything that's in the sort of like and then there's a whole political thing that goes on oh that's another just, level that i don't even think about do you know what i mean it gets layered into it but what it is is it's about it's trash getting reactions to view things yeah. and it's weird because a show i don't or, hunt for views yeah and there's many <laughs> reasons why i don't do that but there's very big examples of how i don't do it if you ever look at my thumbnails do you see my face going <gasps> whoa and pointing to things and like 
Like, oh, uh, like, oh, uh, why? And like <laughs> arrows and circles and like, what? yeah, that's a good one. I haven't seen that one. We should use that. Dude, if you screen grab that, we get more views. I guarantee and, it. And, and you see like people have like four different faces that they just recycle. I'm not calling down anyone. Calm down. Yeah, calm down. You do you. <laughs> Dude, no, we just can around. But it's... it does, it is proven, at least historically i don't know if it works anymore because uh, linus tech tips just did something on this he did he was talking about the a b comparison of youtube and he says it doesn't matter Damn. it's the content and what it's about and not disappointing the person watching it if your thumbnail doesn't live up to what they clicked on or the the title yeah, you get one view but then you don't watch it again you're not coming back to that person who is overhyping or maybe underhyping is good but overhyping and given these big faces, not going to work. But if your faces live up to the hype, I guess that works. But I don't, I don't subscribe to that. I, I don't want to just get people for the sake of getting people. I want people to enjoy the show. It'll spread however it spreads, word of mouth, or they stumble upon it, or whatever. That's fine. And if I was going for clicks and going for numbers, I would be posting about the, the 50 hundredth millionth review of et because i top tell 10 you, worst homebrew games <laughs> i would be doing top tens top t not even homebrew homebrew does not get the views yeah man, top i will tell 10. you that yeah you look at any other 2600 channel um they'll review any number of activision top tens they'll get 10 hundred a thousand times more views than this channel yeah but I like talking about homebrew because it's brand new. These are awesome games that far surpass those classic games. I am baffled why more people aren't playing these incredible new games. And that's what I want people to play is play these awesome games like Muddy Funster's new game. Look at this. This destroys. 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of, the great, this is going to change. Plus, the <laughs> this is going to elevate Atari to the next epic level. Like, well done. You <laughs> complete the transit. A squid quarter reach. It's a Dude. puzzle, platformer, oh, arcadey shooter game with an overworld of Super Mario 3. It's got you thought everything. the Atari 2600 was dead. It's back because of... <laughs> yeah. So... There we go. Chapter three, the wild. So, and look at this beautiful graphics. Oh, so like, good. far surpasses. There's so many amazing 7800 games, and I want people to realize this. This console is not dead. These are games that people oh, need yeah, to play. Man. This is reinvigorating the 7800. And I'm lucky enough that I put myself in a position that I am able to show, be the first person to ever show this in oh, the yeah. world on screen because I treat these developers with respect. I honor the craft that and the hard work they put into these games. Those are engaging in a community, which yeah. is like that's... Being part of the community. That's something that like a lot of is so underestimated in this in these yeah. spheres. And even and people who like are ignorant to that they're part of a community often do the most harm because it's like you're never in a silo. You're never no. just like, you're always part of some sort of ecosystem. And that's why I promote positivity at all all times i want more games i want better games so why not promote the good in every game yeah and to show off what is happening in the scene and say this is good and not bring it down with negativity i've i've played like if you look back at muddy funster's first game on the 2600 i can see people maybe dismissing it and going oh this is just you know, or iteration of an old, like his tire tracks, an iteration of an old Activision game with, with awesome graphics. But, you know, I pushed that game. I played it on the show. I thought it was awesome. The graphics were impeccable. Look where he is now. Look, look at where we're at. I'm and not it, taking any claim and I helped that, this is but I, I, I showed it on the show and I, I said, this is awesome. I want more. And yeah. he kept giving more. And without the cumulative... Uh, feedback from the community and my minimal feedback that, that I give, I think it does help encourage developers to make more and better games. Like I 
I've made my own game now. I think that like what the one real pitfalls that can happen with critics and reviewers is forgetting the experience of putting yourself out there yes. uh, as an artist and, and the vulnerability that comes with that and how much how meaningful and those, how much those words can impact you. Because I think critics and reviewers who only live in that space can yeah. at times forget about what it's like to put themselves out there. And like for me, like I just think of like, you know, it takes so little to discourage someone and take so oh, little to God. encourage yeah. someone on the other side. That's why I never want to say anything negative because I know those words as as an artist, through filmmaking, through other other things that I've done in the past, that negativity hits... It takes a lot of positive comments to negate that one. I would say it's, it's around 100 to 1. Yeah. It may be close to 50 to 1 for me, but other people take it hard. Um... And like a good example is, is Pac-Man Plus. Um, when he gets negativity, it, it hits hard and it hits hard for a lot of people out there. And he quit the scene a number of times. Um, luckily, he's he, he keeps kept, coming back because he's through. so awesome. I'm so happy he's back. But there's there's a lot of other people in that boat too. Yeah, I might have said this. Hurts. I might have said this story before on like the show, but I remember I I, I won this like screenwriting um, oh, sort of uh, like this opportunity to be part of a screenplay workshop, and my guy who was like my my mentor was just brutal with me, just fucking eviscerated everything that I'd written, and he was explaining how his wife is the greatest story editor he's ever worked with and he was uh, and she coincidentally was also a writer at this workshop and I was just like so discouraged and then I was like she and I talked to her not about this but, but it's more but of I, a whiplash <laughs> scenario isn't it where he's berating you until you get really good that's right I asked her I was like hey like what's he said you're such a good like story what do you believe as a story editor she's like well I believe that artists don't actually understand what's working and that like what my sole job when I'm story editing is to identify the thing about your story that works so we can build on that because if we build on what works everything else will disappear exactly. but if we build just, on what works but if we go and just eviscerate something you're just gonna have me in this muddled state and I was like you should probably talk to your husband about <laughs> it but I remember that, that but feeling that duality of this person who was yes. much more nurturing who was like hey like I like this this is your voice like this and I was like, oh, all of a sudden I immediately felt okay getting rid of all this stuff. But when something was so critical, I almost felt like I'm like, well, it's just, it's broken. I'm what, useless. I can't what, do anything. What do I, like, what do I build on? Yeah. And, and so let's, I, try let's wrap up this. Yeah. Said, thanks for playing this demo, Bernie in the Tower of Doom. Bernie's we'll get back to adventure it, will continue soon with more level zones and quests along with new enemies and puzzle elements. I hope you had fun. There's one more thing. One more. There is a new project that I'd like to mention. A new project. Ooh, here's the reveal. <laughs> EXO Incursion. Yes! I didn't even know about this. Yo, yo. Reveal here. There's a sequel coming to EXO. EXO is so awesome. Look at this beautiful like sunrise or set so over this planet. land. This sort of desolate landscape with Gorgeous. layers of darkness, this color tone. Set 25 years before EX, it's a prequel, EXO. Mars has been attacked. You have crash landed. Survive, escape, destroy. destroy. Coming soon. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's so awesome. Do, 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 do. EXO is hard and awesome and it's so amazing. It's an underground puzzle, light, light puzzle, mostly shooter. Um, great, un I don't, you've probably seen it on the show. Uh, for the 7800, so, oh, that's so awesome that he's making a sequel to TXO. Yeah. So, that is so cool. Hype, Dude, very the nice hype is money. Real. The, hype the hype is real. Is real. Oh, and it freezes it's there. Coming soon to a console near you. That's right. To an emulator new <laughs> near <laughs> you. That's right, could be. Either to or. To be downloaded and played with your friends. EXO right. Incursion. One man, one man, went to the depths of humanity. So let's let's continue on with how did you feel when when he 
gave nothing but negativity. Oh, man, I just felt like I was just sort of fumbling in the dark. And I also had this real feeling of, like, I don't know if I really want to, like, do this anymore. You know yeah, what I mean? That was really... Exactly. I just had this feeling of, like... Uh, and then, but, then I, but weirdly, his... Because he had this, like, power in a way by mm. being so and sort of... authority and knowledge. And also in his hyperaggression, his... It was like his words became so important to me. And I found yes. myself wanting to almost please him and write the thing that he would like which, which right and there's somebody in the chat that, that is saying to that point gamma dev says there's no point in gaming well up up above um where is it uh muddy says i tend to make games that i like not everyone has the same taste. exactly and gamma dev says there's no point making games you don't like the players will be able to tell. Just any, ask anyone who played Redfall. I'm not familiar with shots, that one. Shots fired. <laughs> shots fired. I don't know what that means, but Redfall. Yeah, shots fired for sure. Um, some, some red has fallen. And but, I mean, that you can tell the passion when somebody makes something they like in, in any kind of art form, yeah. uh, whether it's movies or video games or whatever, writing or um, sculpting, what, whatever, um, because their heart is in it they're pulling it from a personal place when it's just a job and it's a quick buck or whatever or you're just pandering it can show through and yeah. people can tell and go oh, this is not oh incursion is totally different to exo oh oh sick so it's it's in the world of EXO, but it's a different game. Well, that's really exciting. To oh, see, that's maybe. interesting. I would be very interested to see what kind of. Uh, are you going to be able to tell us what the t style of game is? Is it a shooter? A soft, is it a, a little puzzly? soft reveal? Yeah, a little soft soft reveal. Reveal. We kind of got a soft reveal. You don't have to. Don't have to. It's early days. Yeah, but I just then I kind of felt like I was just chasing my own tail at that point, right? I'm just kind of like running around in circles trying to like please this guy. And, and that's who, fine but, if it's a job. But who's this guy for a too, right? Like who is yeah. this guy? Like when I kind of got out of it and I think the thing that like um his wife really instilled with that comment that I reflected. I didn't understand it for years later. It's like, oh, what she's trying to do is help me find my voice by identifying what's working. She's sort of pointing out like, hey, this is where like you are showing up. Let's get more of that. Yes. And, and, and yeah. I'm still in the driver's seat too with that yeah. sort of thing. It's different in a mentorship. Like if you're like yes. creating a game and you've got like a, like a mentor to come and take a peek, like that was what that context was. But I just think that like, I found this as well, especially like one of my jobs is to like read scripts and sort of re like help people with yes. them. Not, and I see that role not as like my goal in that and my number one goal is to like, I think that most people when they talk about something creative, the creative leaves not wanting to do any work on it anymore <laughs> you know what i mean it's like oh and but if i can yeah. find a way i believe that someone going through a new iteration that will make it better so everything i try to do is to talk about it in a way that they then are excited to keep going because i think continuing down the path is this really like that's the win it's to want to go to the thing and to sort of incite new pathways new th and i think that's what positivity can do yeah. and and like making someone if someone can be thrilled to go and start implementing those changes that's the win from the context of like mentorship versus yeah. like if someone never wants to touch this mm -hmm. again it's like well then what have you actually done anything here other than like discourage <laughs> someone in which case why is yeah. why you're not i'm never gonna Gonna, like that's like no one would ever want to hire me to just come and discourage people like that just doesn't I think, I, I think about people's approaches to life a lot and i think people are a product of their environment and thinking back to your um teacher mentor yeah. whatever, whatever position he was in i think the way he is approaching teaching is what worked for him mm -hmm. and he is thinking well it worked for me it'll work for other people and your way you're teaching when you're reading over scripts and giving feedback it worked for you and yeah. you are giving back that kind I'm to other to, people I'm trying to pass that along if i can you know and it's like mm, what is the right way uh it worked for that guy but that he might be an outlier he needs tough love yeah like, he needs to be beat until it gets good rather than um focusing on what you do really well and expanding on that and, and i think that's always the better and path then everything else kind of kind of just disappears on its own you know what i mean it, the, it does you'll you'll fit into where you're supposed to fit in if you focus on what you're good at like this this show 
is a cumul accumulation of many things I've done over the years. Uh, it's accumulation of filmmaking, streaming on the internet. Which you've been doing since. Since 99. <laughs> I've been streaming on the internet, filmmaking since forever, since I was a little kid, and playing video games since I was a little kid. It's It's... And it's something I do because I like it. Yay. And a lot of people are echoing that. They make games because they like it. Um, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't like it. <laughs> I would have quit a long time ago. I wouldn't even start it. Uh, so if you do what you love and you focus on the strengths, and I hope this is a strength of mine <laughs> so far, people still watch it, you'll find your spot in life. You may not. I'm just not a guarantee, of course, because sometimes there is at least I would say non monetarily you'll find your spot because you're making yourself happy. And whatever you do, even if nobody pays attention to it, some people don't need outside confirmation. Some people do need a hundred percent outside confirmation. I'm I, I need a bit. I need to know. Because the things I do are kind of yeah. outward facing. Well, They're yeah. not for me. I'm not making paintings that I just put up in my house. They're broadcasting, one to many broadcasting. Well, there is a there's a hybrid that needs to happen in any art, and it's a fucking hardest hybrid to balance of like for an audience and for yourself. And it's like hard. when something's exclusively for an audience or exclusively for yourself, you get in trouble. But then how yes. do you find that that harmony between the two? Oh, is hard. I think that's, that's the hardest balance of that's any. That's kind of why I am distancing myself from the film world because I don't think it's very easy to find that balance yeah almost impossible it's really in, in fact unless you completely 100 percent finance the films yourself which i did <laughs> and that's why i did it um and you don't care about one cent coming back which that happened <laughs> <laughs> i i went way in debt for the film i made but i am so proud of that film because it's the film myself and the other filmmaker wanted to make mm -hmm. now when you get into releasing it wide and you have to put millions in or you have other people's money it's the this is commercial yeah. and this is what you want to make it has to go like to there and you have to make so many sacrifices the same thing applies with game making if you want to make money first of all it's impossible with these consoles that are in front yeah. of us because the ins the install base is is minimal if you're going for like a cell phone app or even like a yeah pretty much or a modern platform or something like that otherwise the install base is just too low to yeah. make a living anyway maybe you'll make a little and bit of money but your salary is going to be in the single digits <laughs> per hour if you're awesome at programming and user experience, the the experience of an audience has to be part of oh, the yes. part of the the design of an experience, whether that's a game, a movie, something. You yeah. need to have some level yeah. of like, what kind of experience do I want people that's to have? That's part of what this show is. This is the developer's experience of being able to see somebody play it live in real time not a review after the fact not a chopped up thing we play the game start to finish every level complete it as much as we can yeah. i'm not within, the best player in the world reason. i would say I'm, I'm decent that i can get through a lot of games um but it's it's another service that i would i like to give back to the community and i do a lot of beta testing for games as well in the background i'm doing a bunch right now um uh and I think it's something that these developers crave that this is one of the only shows that yeah. does that. Uh, can you name another live 2600, 7800 Atari show? I definitely can, I don't, but I don't know the scenes. Go, so go I guess. check it out. Go see how many 2600 or any Atari streams. There's some some 8 bit streams. Yeah. Um because that's very big in Europe. But um that's that's something that I I I saw a gap in what was out there and I said this this needs to happen and it's progressed a lot since there was nobody talking almost nobody talking about homebrews except for like big big names now there's a good handful of youtube channels that play atari homebrew mixed in with other things they play old games and play other systems and stuff but and then it's great to get more exposure but yeah that's what i set out to do 
Uh, yeah. Live and Tanya always finds a bug guaranteed. Oh yeah, she's great at doing that. Yamo in the moon. Finding a niche. That's how you make big Be- treat money. That's, that's right. right. That's, that's what gets feeds the, big the Atari. That's Atari all the... profits big but off it, this show. It's he's making bank. Making treat bank. Yeah, but it's interesting thinking about like the purpose of where all this stuff goes. Like I also yeah. think back to like in terms of the topic of reviewing, like yeah. the the game changing world of like Siskel and Ebert. That format of like. Yes. If it's you get recommended a movie, and yeah. if it's a bad movie, you get the entertainment of them ripping it apart Trashing in it. their in their own way. Not fun for the 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 artist, but um, uh, at all. But, but that was their show, and yeah. that format I think is a it's lot of on. yeah. That tradition. I'm sure there were people who did that before them for sure. Gene or something. There's got to be there's stuff. A, but but th- they were the big game changer in movie reviewers, and, and they were. They were A or F. And they were like, dude, they were, There's they, no they, middle they were the gladiator. They didn't put their thing out there. And, like, and he... we've come back around to that. A game is either, like you said, the best thing ever, or it ruins the industry. Yeah, and if it's a thumbs up, tank all you, AAA games you go to them and you're like, okay, I'm going to go do that. And if you get a thumbs down, you're going to watch them to see and enjoy. But it's a show. It's like that was they're doing a show. And yes. I think that's something. They wanted eyeballs. And that was their end goal, not to promote films, not to elevate things. It's they, they were they were a money making thing. That's how they made their living. I'm not making my living on this, yeah. and so I don't need to get those eyeballs. Yeah, and the best shows are when they follow each other. True, when there's <laughs> right, one right, or the right. other, yes, and yes. you get this conflict of like is is a perfect format for this thing. But what's interesting is it's like as much as they were journalists, yes. they they were like legitimate journalists. Yeah. But even then, it's like this weird. It was the beginning beginnings of the melding between how much of this is entertainment and how much of this is yes. us recommending things yes. how much of this is about the art and how much is it about these guys putting on a show yeah and i think a lot of youtube critics a lot of reviews where we are now i think we lean so far into the this is just pure entertainment like it yeah. almost isn't even about reviewing anymore it's about right. like me eyeballs clicks Getting um, your money back, getting your money. Critiquing the, po- the political. No ads here. The political <laughs> sort of ideas of the time, picking a side of the fence of going like, this is the problem, sort of pontificating about, you know, issues and these sorts of things, but having an audience that they feed into. And, yeah. and it's, but it's interesting, like, it is a different world of, of what that world is. And then I think of like journalism is like, what happened? Like what yes. is what is the thing? I would say journalism. I I mean I I was looking at uh, ethics and journalism Wikipedia page to get a sense of that. It didn't really apply to what we're doing, so I didn't read much of it. But you have to be a journalist is neutral at yeah. best. They like you said report the facts without a spin, without their influence, without global influence. You shouldn't be able to pick apart and say, well, that's not true. That's not true. Unfortunately, journalists can uh, omit omit things on oh, yeah. purpose, and they're still telling the truth, and that in Warning. way is, is unethical. Warning. Treat ball is loose. Grab the combat zone. It's time for some combat. Single cat combat. Cat versus ball. Thank you, Ivory Tower Collections. Um, so this show is entertainment. It's also a promotion, but not of me. It's a promotion of... Yerba Mate. Yerba Mate. <laughs> it's a promotion of the developers. It's a promotion of the scene. There you go. Oh, I have to switch over. Switch over to the cat cam. There you go. Are you ready? You ready? And go! Thank you, ITC. Atari thanks you. Just in time for the treat ball. Hello, Chelsea Mao. Uh, we're discussing ethical, eth- uh, eth- gaming ethics. Yeah. Yeah, this show is for entertainment, for myself, and in turn, because I'm enjoying myself playing these games, testing, everybody else. Honestly. <laughs> it's a lot of, a lot of on, a, on a practical level, sometimes I just feel like we're beta testers. <laughs> I've, I've, uh, late in the game beta testing, live beta testing. It's yeah. More, yeah, it's before the public gets it, but well after it's gone through many iterations oh, yeah. of, of private beta testing, the public beta test. So. Usually I, we don't find too many. It's one once in a while, and they're usually not that bad. Um, 
it's for promotion of the scene, which I've harped on many, many times. It's I love this community. There's obviously drama and outliers, but I don't like drama on the show. I don't I don't even like talking about the drama, not the I, drama issues, but not even the dr I don't like talking about the fact there is drama. Yeah, see, I, 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 I'm a moth to a flame. Me it, watching it gets drama. gets me in trouble. Now, me watching it, that's a different thing. Yeah. You're, but other shows. You're lurking, that. but you're not, yeah. you're not, you're not, you're in the chat, but you're not typing. I don't contribute. I don't talk about the drama. I don't even like type anything about the drama that is happening. I look at it and I want to understand it. So that I can avoid it yeah. and not include it on the show even like that much. Uh, if something big is affecting the community, I will talk about it. Um, if it's just somebody starting something up, it's who cares? Um, don't feed the trolls. That's the number one rule yeah. of the internet. Because the trolls are hungry it's... and you will feed them by talking about them. So you do not talk about them ever something i would challenge Starve you though them. is i think there's some shows where you have almost borderline drifted into journalism though like some of those interviews i feel like that you've done you've it's gone you've there's for moments you've stepped into this role of asking community questions yes. curating these sort of hard questions that are sort of and being a bit of yeah. an ambassador which is like which is a unique role to find yourself in too yeah because i have access to these people not that they're hard to access they're mm -hmm. out in the open um but like uh, the the interview the other day for uh, John Van Ryzen. That's right. Who did Hero and Alien Abduction. He has never been interviewed before. And live, on camera, and ever. Have. Not even on camera, ever. He's never been on a panel. And luckily I have access to people that other people don't have access to and he was very And that's happy. what a, also a platform does. It opens up opportunities that aren't available to other people. Yeah. Because there is a platform and people come to watch the show. Um, and, and it does venture. I would never call myself a journalist. That's a, that's, you need to like a pin, official pin. No. Um, yeah, I don't want to so call I can that get myself. you a pin. Let's get you a pin, you know? <laughs> I'm chilling. Uh, yeah, of course there is. Uh, we, we, we talked a little bit about that. I do like to, I do need, not like, need to delve just a bit under the surface for things that happen in the community and we did talk a bit about that at a very fact-based level as best as we could with John Van Ryzen and Atari and Atari Age because I did want him to speak about it on his own terms um, and other people can talk about their side of things and it's been in the Atari Age forums and blah blah blah. Um, and I talked about that with uh, also Audacity. I also really appreciated um, the David Crane interview. That, yeah. That, that I was I was more a lurker than a participant, but I felt like you did a great job wrangling some of that. And that was one of the few scenarios I feel like on the show where I was like, wow, especially that moment in time as well, which I feel like yeah, that, there's a very pivotal moment in time where there's a lot of changes in the community with things, and I don't. Some people say you didn't go far enough, but I don't want to go that far. I don't want to poke yeah. uh, a, a nest of bees. I don't want to create drama. I don't want to shine a light on it. I'll address it, but I'm not going to... That was one of the Let's most... talk more about that. Let's let's. Who do you hate? That was, who do you hate that was in the definitely community? one of the most interesting shows I've been a part of. I, I really felt like I was a fly on the wall more than a. I got <laughs> yeah. to ask a couple questions, but was, and yeah. same with the um, uh, the John uh, uh, interview as well. Yeah. I was reflecting on that for like the, the last couple weeks, like last ever since we did it. Actually, mm -hmm. I was really reflecting on on that of like so. It's so interesting too because you just fuck around and play games, and then yes. all of a sudden you're that's like, focus. you're like, wait a minute, like here's a legend that's like yeah. talking to us and you're like you, uh, for me at least i showed up and i'm like as the show goes on i'm starting to identify so here, and realize everyone play a game i like wait a minute and I'm, like, I'm playing it in front of him like and i'm like oh like but it's very interesting <laughs> right yeah, I hate everybody equal. There you go, Al. <laughs> Al you treat this. everybody with equal respect, that's which the, is zero. That's the way to do it, man. I, uh, yeah, apanthropic. A that's the way to go. Um, but that's where there is sometimes an interesting responsibility when you have these opportunities is, is to sort of put on for yeah. even a minute that sort of, that hat of journalism. Yeah, and, and I, I don't mind doing that. Uh, I like talking to people a, a lot. 
about because they're passionate and that's why what i want to focus on is their passion and to for them to continue that passion <laughs> you hate yourself there you go it, it, do you hate yourself on the fur don't do that <laughs> love yourself you must, Give yourself you must love hug. yourself namaste <laughs> coexist <laughs> Wait, I got some crystals that might really help align that chakra. That's I feel right. like this is a crown chakra so issue. Rub them on your forehead in a we need, clockwise. If with, you do counterclockwise, well, it invites what we need is rose in. quartz. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the killer app. Is the rose quartz? I'm telling you, man. Like. <laughs> You could like do therapy. You but could like take that's... a thing, but none of that's that's all bullshit. The rose quartz, it's gonna yeah. fix it. Yeah. We're, well, we're picking on people who are not necessarily too uh, too violent. Let's say. I'm just I, I try around. not to involve um, religion and politics on this show. Yeah. Those are drama based things, right? We're making fun of the the uh, woo woo crowd. Oh here. yeah, no, dude, I love. I, 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 the the, <laughs> the reason to pick the on. reason why I do it is I'm like I'm so close. I'm so oh, close. No. Dude, I got some quartz at my house. Oh, That's why no. I'm throwing some shade. Got your you salt know? rocks plugged in. And I do. You know, giving off good energy. Trust vibes. me, I'm, I'm I'm close. It, it touches me a little bit, but not. <laughs> I still. <laughs> oh, okay. That, no, I, it's just any, it, any other tangents. Um, I had something, covers? but I maybe save it for another show because sure. sure. uh, this it can was, always be brought up. We're flexing on 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 the John actual conversation. And there's some interesting stuff, but I think I'll save that for another time. But I, let me think about yeah. The, there's there's pockets of community, um, yeah, and it's and it's it is difficult being part of a community or multiple communities. To yeah. I want to show all the games on the show but even where there's there's head butting between different communities some are some are very toxic and i just can't do it um but you know i can show audacity games on the show i can show atari age games on the show i can show atari games on the show and there's there's no problem because i focus on the games yeah it's all about the games and our enjoyment that we get from the games i don't care about the drama i don't want the drama mm -hmm. i want it to go away i want people to be happy and 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 everybody to be making games and playing the games yeah and the collective creativity is the thing that's the thing the yes th things that people are producing sharing of knowledge and making the games elevate every time something drama boo and i really do feel like Obviously, I just come here and fuck around, but like, this is clearly <laughs> my role. We all do here, isn't this, it? <laughs> this is my role, but I also do feel like, um, I do feel like it's really important, for, at least for me, to like, to really respect the fact that people have put like meaningful amounts of time oh, into this. So much time, and, and then also to acknowledge the fact that I I couldn't do it. I don't know how to program. Right. I don't know how to do these things. And with that ignorance, but you play games. I do play games, but with that ignorance, yeah. um, there's it's important to check yourself with a bit of respect and the fact that like right. that to realize that people put in an incredible yeah. amount of effort. They who put are, themselves who out are there. We to be dismissive of the Fucking effort God. these people like, put into games hundreds of hours and they're learning if they d have never made a game they've now made a game and they've increased their knowledge and they can go on to make better games and every and every game that somebody makes like muddy funster every game he makes he elevates his his craft yeah. he's, he's getting better and better and it's everybody benefits it's so good and and Muddy Funster benefits. He feels accomplished, right? I'm sure he does uh, in these new games he makes. Yeah, and, and I think too, like, um, I want to light people's spirits with jokes and screw around, but then also sometimes <laughs> I, I reflect on later, I'll be like, oh, I hope oh, anyone didn't feel bad about that thing, that. that thing that I said, but also at the it's same time, ingest. but you have to make, take risks as well to like, <laughs> to get, to get the, to get the lols. Is, yeah, yeah, is there's the many thing. forms of humor. There's, there's sarcasm and there's uh, just saying the opposite of what you mean and, and oh. irony and, oh, and all of some of things. these can be misconstrued and, and I hope nobody ever misconstrues what we say we try not to it's very very seldom that we do but uh yeah we we like to celebrate the games but sometimes i i reflect too because i'm a very introspective person yeah. unfortunately i can't just move on with my life who yeah. cares about that also you're sort of next, off the cuff next, and next. like especially in the format of a show you're wanting yeah. to keep the ball rolling keep things it's going live. Keep things there's live, no editing happening i mean so. i can delete the show after but i've never done that yeah, no. um except for one 
Um, <laughs> see now, does everybody uh, just flip the hell out on it. See now, now I want to know what it is. We, we, oh, we're talking about leading into the drama. No well, drama, I, boo. It's when I played Circus Convoy. The the moment it was released, and everybody watched, it and they hated watching it. Like, oh, don't make me watch this this game. I I because I was playing it, and they wanted to they, play. It. They wanted to play it, and they could ah. they could play it, and um. I was giving away how to play it, which everyone does. First playthrough, 100% yeah. playthrough. And they're like, ah, don't show us. More of a spoiler review. And they're right like, there. I can't help myself but watch your episode. It's like, okay. Yeah. I have to protect you from yourself by t not playing this game because you wanted to play through it first, but you can't help but watch my show. You must it's the most bizarre thing I've you ever You must had. protect everyone from themselves. But I got so, so much backlash. It was unbelievable. Yeah, there you go, Gamma Dev. Spoiler! No, Gamma. And and I mean, that's that's different. Like this is in a chat. This is off the cuff. You could say, you know, spoilers about Fight Club, and nobody could protect their eyes from it. Mm -hmm. But it was a, it was a a video that people had to go to, and click play on, and start watching from beginning to end. Like even if you started playing, I would say, oh, I'm gonna play the whole game. Don't watch it. And I believe I said that when when the beginning of the game, and they're like, oh, I can't help it. I uh, my eyes. Anyway, it's so funny. Yeah. Anyway, that's the only one I deleted, and I just went, eh, you'll never see it. People people didn't want it. I'm not gonna bring it back. Yeah. Too bad. Something that's kind of interesting, and like in the in an example of what I think journalism is, is that like, and it's an interesting metaphor and example of it. Is like me and my buddy have been joking around about history, and like he's been watching all these history podcasts, listening to all these history podcasts, and talking about things. It's fascinating because it's like huh? history. There's a story that's being told that is sort of bought into. But when you look at like some of these myths or these older histories, you'll look on the pages and it'll be like this person's interpretation, this person's interpretation, this person's interpretation. Yes. And that's journalism to be like, hey, there's this event, there's this story. Here's and, all the sides. And here are the different points of view around it. Immediately I was like, that's a great example of like, oh, that's a really different way yeah. of approaching it. Rather than like, here is the story I'm spinning and the and the story that's the right one and the one that you need to invest in. And like when Atari Age uh, got rid of their ports, I reached out to... 15 developers uh, that had ports um, and Atari H had posted their their write-up about what happened so we have their side and I talked to a, not side but their thoughts on it yeah there and and I went to the developers and got their thoughts on it and that was the show and that's that's what you have to do you can't just go one side ignore the rest you you have to uh, get all the opinions and weaving and selling a story that's mm. your point of view or a point of view you agree with yeah. that's a different thing than going here are the number of stories around an event that this is an event that happened and here's all the different stuff you know and i wouldn't say i was a journalist because i gave my opinion yeah and journalists yeah you shouldn't give their opinion. yeah you should say these are the interpretations then, of this event then it's an opinion piece and news i'm sure i i saw it in the list news has gone almost 100% the way of opinion pieces. I mean, there's some examples like that try to be non-opinion <laughs> piece and I, hopefully they, they highlight when they are like uh, government run, like CBC in Canada, yeah. BBC in the UK, but some, dying, some countries are dying like, breed. <laughs> they're just an arm of the government spreading propaganda. And it's like, well, they could be, but you have to fact check that yourself too. Yeah. Never trust anything. Don't trust what I say or Erlen says it's, or anyone. It's why when you're examining like go a and situation. Do your own looking into. Don't go to another person and get their opinion. Go to the source as close as you can. I know nobody... Nobody has enough time to do yeah. that, and that's the problem. I remember when I was a little kid, my like parents were in these like horrific arguments all the time, <laughs> and I would go to my mom, and she'd be like, "Well, it's his fault he did all this," <laughs> and I go over to him, and he'd be like, well, "It's her fault she did all of this." And as a kid, I remember sitting there being like, "Wait a second, so who's right yeah, and who's wrong, can't. and Probably what both. and what happened?" Usually, it's both wrong because both are not listening to the other person's point of view or and, not asking the other person, and maybe both right uh, as yes. well. And so, it's, but yeah, that's, that's life. True. There's this weird, when there's something going on, people will want you to buy into their story. But I remember even as a really little kid being like, wait a second, what is this? And and that's always yeah. shaped my point of view around the world that people... I'm fascinated by that. People Fascinated by people who are head to head 
and even people I oppose, I want to hear what their point of view is. And unless they're just off the rocker and just are not in reality, um, you can get why they think that way. And it's usually because they are in a bubble and they only see what's going on in that bubble and they don't see outside the bubble. So their opinions are formed through this very small, narrow point of view. And that's what I am trying to defeat in myself is not living in a bubble. And we all live in certain bubbles. We live in a house, a community, a town, your, your own province, point of state, view, a country, your own point of view, how you're shaped and how you even avoid or gravitate towards certain things. And I try to defeat that as much as I can. It's almost impossible. It's very, very hard. <laughs> well, um, but I keep people on social media that I don't agree with because I, I need to hear that point of view. And if I only listen to uh, certain news or certain people, I'm never going to hear that other side. And I want to know why they think that way so that if I ever talk with them, usually they're, they're off the rocker, but <laughs> if I ever talk with them, I will understand why they think that way. And that's really important why they think that way not the things they think but how they got to that conclusion and i want to know why i got to a certain conclusion it's yeah. because because I, I, I live in a you know a non-small city i am surrounded by diversity so i see a lot of crazy weird people and they all have different opinions and i'm exposed to different types of people and i love that yeah and people who don't live in large cities I'm getting too specific here, but um, are very insular, I find. They don't see points of view outside of a very small community. And I think that's how it was a long time ago in small tribal communities. They knew their people and everybody was just outsiders. Yeah. And they had very different points of view because they never, uh, uh, points of view never mixed together or, you know, sometimes they did and they benefited from that so, oh you have technology we have technology now we both have technology yeah, may, may, awesome this is probably like just a sort of trickster and troll in me but i never try to take my point of view too seriously no i never try to think no. my perspective is actually that special or important because i find that to be one of the most uncharismatic things when people the when their point of view needs to be defended and is I the most important brought up this way and people this don't... is the way i think <laughs> and it's like no i'm open to change it's like uh, with new evidence what's special about my point of view like what's <laughs> Special about literally nothing nothing at all and and being able to laugh at yourself being you able almost to have to accept. assume your point of view is wrong because it is a point of view it's, that's it's a, exactly it's a perspective it there's one of the great sort of hilarious internet commentators where he said it was one of my favorite quotes of his you know he says like um my people say that they appreciate that i never let facts get get in front of the story <laughs> 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 that yep. people appreciate that they, they don't let facts interfere with the story which is like because everyone's spin in a story in a way and that's and that's an it's interesting not necessarily a bad thing but you need to go oh, have multiple spins because you need to hear it from perspectives like how does it affect people who live in this environment how does it people affect people who think this way so this is why let circle back to some of the uh, topics of the yep. interviews right like it's why rating is so incredibly difficult because it's so subjective. Yes. It's such it's, a point of view. It's yep. a point of view in time. And it's also like, I if someone asks me, like, <laughs> what is the best film? I'd be like, I have no fucking clue. <laughs> someone says, what is, what is best your... Best comedy? What, we're getting closer. Yeah, like if... You, best comedy of the 90s? We're getting even yeah, closer. Yeah, list your favorite of a genre. I can find that a lot. What are the top of a genre? It's yeah. easy, easier to answer that than like... Because also like everything is trying to do its own sort of like thing. And it's very hard to say like, the like you know, how does The Exorcist compare to Grizzly Man? Like, <laughs> I, I have no idea. That's, and actually, and they're both great films for diff very different like, reasons and right? it's, they can't they don't <laughs> compare uh, well, well you gave grizzly man 4.5 and you gave the exorcist 5 now, so i'm like if I don't... <laughs> now if it's two documentaries about the fire festival that's a lot easier it's a to bit compare. easier to dial in to lock into the... yeah it's like well this one presented a lot of information i didn't get from this one it's like oh okay or you know uh woodstock 99 it's you like okay i can compare these two yeah uh that because there was two documentaries made on that as well um 
so yeah, what I told you was true from a certain point of view. Must sit like I watched, <laughs> I, I, I looked for uh, Ebert's reviews because I found myself agreeing with a lot of his points of view. Not always. Sometimes I was like, what the hell are you talking about? So interesting, hey? And, and so I went to him for a lot. It's like, oh, he likes it? I probably will like this movie. <laughs> That is true, yes. Gamadev. And that was a very important point in that story. That was uh, that was one of the mo- the craziest Wild. moments I've ever seen in a documentary. Yeah. And the delivery of it, the earnestness so of it, the real, the whole, the whole deal. <laughs> that was so good. That's a, that's a great doc. It but is. but again, I'm also like sometimes well, I just like I just appreciate these things too. Like I just sometimes it's hard because it's like if someone's like, hey, rate this thing. I'm like, oh, uh, can I just appreciate the thing and then that, and go on with my life? And man? that's why I don't like to rate things. I like to point out good things about it i i may go hey if you like platformers i think you'll love this one yeah because i like especially if it's a platform or a shooter both i like and i bring on tanya i try and match tanya up with a lot of the puzzle games she loves puzzle games yeah so she can present an informed opinion from somebody who has played a lot of puzzle games right and I try and keep, you know, um, RPG games and um, tactical types of games for Erlen because he plays a lot of those games that's and he can my, provide a lot of like. insight. My brain is like, oh. It's like, oh, this game's like this. And, and you can even, like, uh, expand and say, hey, if they tried that, that would really enhance the game and, and add this little and this bit this reminds me of this thing and this thing that I played. Yeah, so it, points of view are important at certain points. Like yeah. if somebody has a well, history... sharing your point of view is important, but uh, but also not taking that point of view too seriously, oh, no, no, and no, no, allowing no. it to be flexible and change yeah. with new information is is the key to uh, yeah. <laughs> charisma. <laughs> Number one on this show is to have fun. Oh, Everything yeah. falls out of having fun because if we're having fun of with a game, the game's great, oh, or we can man. have or we can find fun in a game. We've played games that are like look and sound the simplest like blocks just blocks moving around the screen and we can have fun with those we'll find the fun and we can get we can say to other people this is a fun game if you have two people or four people or play it this way or play this variation of the game you can you can have and microvision yeah 16 by 16 i just bought a the first interchangeable cartridge handheld system in the u.s when we went down there last weekend um it's 16 pixels by 16 pixels and you can find fun in that (laughs) people have made flappy bird with it because you can make it's just this thing bouncing up and down going between two things people made tetris because it's wide enough to make tetris in you can make breakout um you can have fun with blocks fun with blocks it's also like a lot of those like old reviewers too there's so many classic moments that arise of their like compare it they're like they have the format of just like this would be funner than this you know what i mean and there's one of the i'm somewhat i remember reading an early imdb review i don't even remember the movie but they're like if you were to take uh, a red sock and put it in a uh, washing machine with white oh, and every God. time you see the red you scream and shout that would be more fun than this I was like what I was like that's actually a hilarious piece of writing <laughs> yeah. but has nothing to do with anything other than your <laughs> that's and that's where there is an art form to reviewers of coming up with these almost creative yeah. like uh, like metaphors and these kinds of things too so that it's applies like, to movies too it's like this could be a trash garbage boring nothing movie but there's this one thing in it yeah uh, and it's called nicholas cage <laughs> it's called the it's called the cage and he must be unleashed it, it's like yeah an actor will bring something to it or this this concept that nobody's ever done or not recently anyway because most things have been done um that make you go you have to watch this movie other than this thing it's not good but this thing makes the movie great and games can be like that too it's like it's not much to look at there's just beeps but damn is it a good two-player game oh my god it'll keep you entertained for hours you play to five points and it's just blocks on the screen you're hitting a block and you're trying to score a goal and it's like it's the best thing ever <laughs> and it's that's the one thing that makes that game awesome and you d- i don't like comparing it to other games yeah it's like this game stands on its own each game can stand on its own is it fun or is it not fun that's and the games that i put on the show is because i have found fun in them 
there's fun to be had. There's fun to be had for me or you or somebody out there. And I have looked at it and went, yeah, that needs to be on the show. Yeah. And there's very few games I don't put on the show. It's almost none. It's it's a very small list of games I don't because I think I can find fun in just about every every game because somebody yeah. made it. They thought it was cool. So I'm going to find their fun. Have we exhausted the... Uh, <laughs> I think we're at, uh, <laughs> we're at, yeah, we're at, at the end. Uh, we can continue on later on another show. There's much more to be mined from this. Yeah, and you got to remind me, I had lots of thoughts about Hero um, in re in like retrospect. Because I got to play Hero for the first time. Not Hero, but his new version of it. Oh, what was it called? yeah, Alien Abduction. Yeah, Alien okay. Abduction. So yeah. remind me, we'll, we'll sure. chat about that next uh, time. Because yeah. I had some, some epiphanies. I was like, oh, I was really taken by that. Oh, by his, yeah. his approach and everything. So. so what's coming up on the show uh, this weekend? Maybe, maybe it's going to be blazingly hot. So it's unlikely that Tanya's is one of, gonna want to be in here for two hours? Uh, playing, I, I don't blame her. Playing games, we usually, I got the AC. Pumping. We sometimes shut down the show when it gets to thirty or above because yeah. it's there's lights, there's computers, there's TV in here all pumping out heat. It gets really bad, but it, it's this probably won't happen this weekend. We're going to try for it. We we'll finish up the Atari 7800 40th anniversary classic game countdown with the last nineteen games, taking us from eighty nine to ninety one, but. On Tuesday with Tanya. Tuesdays with Tanya. Never Tuesdays about with that. Tanya. Yes. Took Wait that long? a second, yo. It Tuesdays with long? Tanya. Oh my god. Oh, that's it. That's that's, that's the, the that's one. a t-shirt. That's yeah. a that's a I've, pin. That's I've Tuesdays with Tanya. I've refrained from saying see you next Tuesday, but um, <laughs> that's right. You know that one. What's that from? Oh, just spell it out. And you with a U. <laughs> It's oh, a, yeah. yeah, it's silly. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's juvenile, but uh, that's why I don't say it. Except for that. Uh, we have a developer spotlights. So we're going to grill him. Grill him with the hard a, questions a, and all the controversy. Another trenchant interview no. will be. Will uh, developer be spotlight is celebrating the uh, works of Steve Englehart, Atarius Maximus, and we have the secret homebrew reveal, world exclusive of his new game. You will know this game. You will know this game. Or you, or you might, but might not. But you will know this game. Um, for the Atari 7800 Tanya Day. Oh, Tanya, Tanya Day. Day. Tuesday Tanya Day. Tuesday with That's Tanya. Good. Tuesday with Tanya. You've got to get the alliteration. So great. A 35 there. Oh, my God, Gamma Dev. So that's Keep a, cool. Yeah. Ooh, thank yeah, you for converting it. That does help. I'll tell you how hot it is it's this weekend. It's going to feel like 35 at least. It's going to be... Yep. I have to go, I don't have to, but I'm going to go pick up some groceries. And literally, okay. one of them is chicken, which I'm going to get from a different place. I'm literally going to go and get my vegetables first and then my chicken to reduce the amount of time Oof. in the heat. Do you know what I mean? Like That's, that's, how, that's how hot it is. Yeah. Um, and Stellar Drive. Oh, and on uh, the Friday, Gallagish. I mean, you are scheduled for next Friday. Yeah. I'm down. I have to do it a bit later than like. Okay, that's uh, fine. So I, I can do 2 p.m. because my work's It's not got an a, interview, so we can. Cool. My work's got a little function. A little that thing. I, got a, I think it's online, though, so it's going to be oh, easier. Okay. Sometimes I have to go places, which is just. So. Then I have travel time, right? Versus if yeah. it's just online, then when it ends at one, I can just walk over here. So hopefully Tony will arrive by then. I would. I would think so. Oh, what day is it? I'm always screwed up. It's Friday. It's Friday. So that'll today. be next Friday. It should. People are getting it in the mail in Europe, and I saw one confirmation they got it in North America, so it should be here by then. And Galaga ish, Galaga ish as well. Uh, probably add another one. Oh, ice cream. Definitely. We've already booked the ice cream. We're getting ice cream. We have an ice cream maker upstairs, Smart. actually. Also, to circle back to Muddy, thank you oh, for. Oh, yes. Uh, showing Bernie. Like, no, thanks for letting us play bacon, it, man. It was so Bernie. awesome. It was so good. The puzzles are really, really good. Where is he? Where is our guy? Oh, he's right, right there, there. Right there, Bernie. Bernie can go back now into his home in the middle of Zero Page. He is an honorific uh, uh, Zero Page hanger outer up there. If you guys need some team. voice actors, you That's know right. where to go to. We Just should... reference our Bernie uh, tape, um, and you can uh, please let us know. Uh, it was an honor to uh, to uh, voice your characters. Voice Hopefully, your character we did them for justice this, in the for this role. Justice. I hope we get a call back. Um, uh, no pressure. No pressure. There's no pressure. <laughs> My agent will be in touch. In touch. Don't and badgering you. Uh, and then we'll be playing Stellar Drive Mars, <laughs> an exclusive work in progress <laughs> update. Um, 
and then to be determined as well. And uh, we're narrowing down the developer spotlight as well on Lawrence Stavely from Reboot. Nice. And uh, that'll be a fun one because we'll be also showing up Jumping at Shadows, an updated wow. version of that that will be, I think, released this year. Maybe PRGE. It sounds like it's on track. That would be super cool. Um, reached out to uh, John Champo, and hopefully we can get that scheduled as well. The secret homebrew from Champ secret. Games. Uh, so lots of great things coming up. Yeah, secret. Uh, oh, thank you, Muddy Funster. Oh, always, thanks. Man. Always happy to <laughs> voice act. Yeah. If if there was the laser disc add-on that they're planning for the Atari seventy eight hundred, we could like adapt it and and adapt the game and have the voice acting interpretive on reading of, yeah. or you can just increase the size of the cartridge and have uh, uh samples of us that's right game. speaking well. speaking your that's words right. i actually did voice act a uh a cart a uh, animation uh and then they cut me from the second <laughs> no. second version of it no but i have the first version on dvd so you did the scratch class. read pretty pretty much <laughs> no yeah. but uh but i mentioned in there um Oh, no, that was a different one. Yeah, we interviewed those people, and our interview made it onto the DVD. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us. It was a pleasure to play uh, your game, uh, Super Pro Racers. Ben, it was fun uh, racing head-to-head -head with Erlen and the computer. Computer's tough. And We just uh, had to lock in. Yep, lock in, get I good. don't know if we fully locked in. Half locked in. <laughs> but we were there was a moment good. of lock in. And, uh, and now we want a version of voiceovers. <laughs> Oh, ice cream sponsor for the next show. Well, we can we can Ooh, court a sponsor. Hagen Dazs. They make ben and Jerry's. Those those are, those yeah, are the guys. Both make good ice cream that I can have. Yeah. Hagen Dazs is like or, that's... or local a local place that would be good too. What's Wouldn't the one, What's masked. the one? There's the one that's like that's like everyone gets from. Uh, it comes in the like Ernest. Ernest They're ice good cream. Good as well. It's good stuff. Yeah, we go to Ernest once in a while. Although I have to say the salted caramel Hagen oh. bars, dude. Oh, Tanya loves oh, salted you want, caramel. You want you do get salted caramel bars. You want things to pop off? Is some a salted caramel Hagen bar? The crunch. Oh. Thank you for tuning <laughs> in. Uh, Muddy Funster, <laughs> Charles Donny Mouse, Pseudographics, Gamma Dev, uh, Ivory Tower Collections, uh, Atari Warlord, Al Nefer, Rendered Ghost for lurking and popping in. Thank you, Rendered Ghost. Crunch, 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 crunch. Rendered crunch. Ghost is my spirit animal. Pseudographics, S. Ramirez. Crunchy, I know we've already said that. Yeah, Seth Ramirez. Thanks for such else? active chat today, everyone. It's Very so active. Awesome. Yeah, Ivory. B. Larson, of course, for uh, tuning in for your Victo. game. And Vitoko, Vitoko sneaks Vitoko, in at the last minute. Vitoko. Um, uh, this sh shirt is available now. Uh, if you want this shirt, uh, I think it's cool. I think it's great. It's too. at T Public. Um, just search for Zero Page Homebrew. There's no Atari logos, so I'll get taken down, which is always a good thing. Has to. It's important. It is important. Um, and I'm thinking of new shirts as well. I have to make some stickers for PRGE. Tuesdays with Tanya. Tuesday with Tanya is next Dude, with the interview. I'm just saying. So we'll be back with Tuesdays with Tanya on Tuesday. Have a great and cool weekend, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Have a good day.